You should watch yourself. You should run and hide. Because he's coming. He's coming for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ding dong, ding dong. <coughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, daddy. Blinka bonka. Dookie treat. Hold on, I'm clipping it. I'm clipping the Red Bull drink. Give me a second. Hold on. It's a corruptor. Meow. Getting the doggy treat. It's a coffee. What's took three months to try? Yeah, you gotta be first, man. There's not many dog treats left, chat. It's a Niners. Darth. Katie Mae. Medusa. Hound Dog. Whisker. I ain't even eaten yet. I got this black mango. Uh, black mango. Oolong tea. God damn, it's good. I just put some honey in the dick tea. We're about to suck on it. What's up, Sabrina? Kane, hello. Chaotic, what up? There is problems with my internet in the neighborhood. The maintenance team has detected an issue in your area which may cause be the cause of what is affecting your connectivity it was detected today but it could be the previous day's activities that have helped the flag and identify the issue i don't have information on the details of it i do see that signal at your home and the equipment is great <laughs> we'll see how long we stream so frost they had a meltdown today like this morning man my internet had a meltdown maybe they fixed it i doubt it highly doubt it Usually takes a few days and a while for them to find it. What's up, Cuban? <clears throat> well, the internet just cuts out for like... 30 seconds to a minute and it comes back on. It's really weird. So just should. My ISP. Well, I've had a dude, I've had it. Well, the eight years I've been streaming, I've been pretty good to go to this last uh year <laughs> I don't know man what it is I want to I want to get fiber but I can't get it where I'm at I'm gonna have to, if I have to I have to move I'm gonna have to sell my house like is it worth all that
Especially today's market. Fiverr's not really that 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 uh, prevalent around here. There are some places that have it, but not a lot. Starling. I usually don't have a lot of issues, but um, this past year, man, it's been off and on quite a bit. What's up, Mitchie? Vince, I played Dinkum for four and a half hours last night. <laughs> How far did you get? It's it's a good game, isn't it? It's a good game. Fantastic game. Yeah, Patreon will be Tuesday night, I guess, yeah. I'll put a thing out tonight, today, tomorrow. It's a Chelly Bip. Well, let me get a Patreon. I got your message. Patreon. Patreon, goddammit. E. Boom. Who that? What up, Charlie? Bit 50. 50 months of Twitch Prime. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Why didn't you sign me in? They changed it. Maybe Queenie can join us this time. Oh, I am not ready for this. There we go. Crack. Oh my God, the, the goddamn thing is working today. Uh, well, we are bright. Should we turn? Let's see if we can turn it down to about negative six again. That's too dark. Well, negative five it'll be. I really need like a five and a half. It's got to be a little sweet spot at five and a half. It just doesn't work, though. Thanks, Shelly. Welcome back. It was 6% humidity this morning. It was nasty. 60. Medusa. Have you ever dealt with 100% humidity? You ought to come to Maryland. <clears throat> when are you going to become a fog whisperer for Dingham? <clears throat> well, they, have, they haven't opened up their partner program yet. <clears throat> Chat, my voice is fucked from yesterday's yelling spreading the, getting all that cock yesterday like all that cock 100 subscriptions more cock more cock it kill it killed my voice where well, dookie's leg is hurting today They came inside through the doggy door. I think that's probably what I agitated it. I might have to put them down this week. Or, my, or on Monday. I don't know. Sad, man. The, the vet says I'm not spending like tens of thousands of dollars to get the dog miserable and alive you know what I'm saying he like right even if he, like right now he's just like s sitting around he, can't, he has a hard time getting up walking around it, it, like his life right now is just like vegetating around me that's it he isn't living much of a life that five guys meal what get that boy five guys I might give him a last meal, like something, you know, the big hoorah. I didn't want to think about it, man. Last year because of cancer. Yeah, it sucks, man. <clears throat> Supply guy. And then no more dogs. Uh, how long? I've had him since he was five weeks old. It's 10 and a half years. He was born in April, so like 10 years and four months. 
But his leg is uh, his leg is pretty much he can't put any weight on it. The problem is he's so fucking big. <coughs> I can't be lifting up, lifting him up to get him in and out of the house and shit like that. It's he's way too big for that. You gonna take some time off? Uh, yeah, I'm probably not gonna be good to go for a few days after when I have to, if it has to get done. It's gonna be cr like devastating. <laughs> it's gonna be devastating, man. Oh, I don't know. I don't even think about it. No, he can get outside. It, it, the problem is him coming inside. Getting up steps and stuff. But he, he's found a way that he gets in and out pretty easily now. And I remember my, my Cocker Spaniel when I put him down. Boy, it took me a while to get over that dog. God damn. I still had... I had Duke at that time and I had my Chihuahua, but... Losing him, man, was crushing. <clears throat> and losing this one's gonna be really crushing. I love this dog. And the, the sad part is that the veterinarians around here, the, the whole situation with trying to get in with a vet and like, <clears throat> it's taking me two weeks to get duped to get looked at right now. I did wait a while, but it's a pain in the ass, man. I'm not having no more animals. Fuck that shit. It's just not popped out of socket. Oh, he's got he's got arthritis and shit back there, like uh, big dog stuff. Yeah, it's been it's been a slow deterioration, but like the last month has been like super fast downhill. What's up, Chris? Twenty six months. God damn. What's that prime man? What up? I feel like you've been around longer than 26 months, Jesus. I miss that silence. You had to have an animal. Nah, I don't want no fucking animal when it comes to the, the to the vets. The, the vets is just a, it's a fucking nightmare. Can we use our bits to have you stroke Yoda? Are we gonna put Yoda in because in the, because the dog's gone? Fish. I might get a bearded dragon. Now I got everything I need for the bearded dragon. That'd be cool. We have a bearded dragon cam. He could be in this room. I don't know. Let's get over the dog first, okay? Let's see what happens to the dog first. I really don't want. I mean, I want to. I, I always want to have a dog, but I don't like having to go to the pet ER if anything like minor happens. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. That pisses me off. I'd have to call around a lot of vets. Like, if I got another dog, I wouldn't use the vet I have now. Like, I'm I'm tempted to go in there when I go in here with Dukey on Monday. And, you know, depending on how the conversation goes, like, I'm going to tell them flat out, like, the whole vet situation is ridiculous. Like, I'm, this is it, my, my last dog here. <laughs> it's like, you know, you can't have a dog, like, or an animal and not have, like, emergency care besides the fucking ER place over here, which is three times the price. You walk inside the door of that place, $300. You say hi, $300. That's it. $300 right at the gate. Hi, how you doing? The bill, $300. They ain't looked at your dog yet. $300. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and I don't even know if they're going to be able to do anything to Dookie. Like, we'll see what they say. If they want to do some fucking weird bullshit, I'm like, nah, like... No surgeries. I'm not doing any of that. Like, if they can give him a shot, he's better. And if they just say there's nothing they can do for him on Monday, then I probably, I might just put him down on Monday because I don't want him to go through all that. It's just going to get worse. I'm worried about his other leg. because He's putting so much pressure on his other leg. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Alexa! It's the question of the day. Let's be positive, chat. Welcome back to question of the day, your daily trivia challenge. The topic is general knowledge. Mm -hmm. It is worth four points. 
Synonymous with a litter, what is the lesser used term for a family of kittens? Choose from the following. A. An army. Satanist. A parade. C. A kindle. Or D. A drove. A parade. Nice try. But a no parade idea. refers to a group of elephants. The correct answer was C. A kindle. While most are familiar with the term Fucking litter Satanist. to describe a group of kittens, describing them as a kindle is just as accurate. Fuck a cat. A group of adult cats is called a clouder. 57% of our fans got this one right. I'm not. You, oh, you can tell I'm not a big cat fan. 713 points. Want a little friendly competition? Oh, Daya, Members Ria. of our trivia club test their knowledge every day with three additional questions. Compete on local What's and up, national Piggy? leaderboards and have exclusive access bad back to the legs question of the day archives. Heart. Yeah, he's Would old. Would you like he's to start big. your seven days? He's not free getting around well. He's, he's not. He's not having no. Alexa, shut up. He's not. He's not living a, the good life right now. And I don't want him to suffer. And I think it's crazy to spend like thousands of dollars to prolong his life for. I feel like just my emotional need. You know what I mean? And I'd rather him, you know, not to go through all that. Cause I don't, I don't really think it's gonna get any better. And I think give him some like steroids or like a shot in the headquarter zone or something and see how long that lasts or whatever. But yes, yeah, it's, it's, he's not gonna be around much longer, unfortunately. Miss that dog. <laughs> It'd be tough, man, when he's gone, man. It'd be fucking tough. And it just pisses me off that, like, dude, I would have a second dog right now <clears throat> if it wasn't for the veterinary situation around here. Yo, Salt, thanks for the deuces, baby. Twitch Prime. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. You can foster. I don't want to foster, man. I would, I mean, fostering probably wouldn't be that bad. You just get a new dog. You just get a dog. Fox one to someone that finds a home for him. It also, like, honestly, like, if something were to happen to him, he has to go. It opens me up to, like, if I want to move or travel more, do something like that. Uh, it's, I can't leave him right now. I couldn't even put him in a, a kennel. I don't know if they give dogs quarter zone shots. We'll, we'll see what they say. I'm sure they're going to do x-rays and all that crap. But the last time he was there, I think the last time he was January for all his shots or f February, I forget. Um, they knew that his hips were giving problems in. But it's just a shame that uh, this area is that is the vets. Are, there's not I guess there's not enough vets to service the community as a whole in this whole area. <clears throat> Dude, it's a good time to be a veterinarian right now. I'll guarantee you you're, they're killing it. Thank you, Salt, for deuces. Deuces. Parade of elephants. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it's sad. That's the sad part, man. They get old, they die. You miss them. I still got my other two. I, I can literally look to my left, and there's my other two dogs right there. Colby and Zoe, and that's where Duke will be. I think what I'm going to do with Duke is uh, if, he, if he, like, whenever he passes, I'm going to clean up the, uh, I'll wash the, uh, his chicken. I forgot who gave him the last cock. Somebody, or who gave him the original cock. Medusa, did you give him the cock? I'm going to sit that on top of his uh, tin. Wait. You have a friend that's a vet? You are lucky. Oh, I hate it. I hate him. I, I loved my chihuahua, but boy, when she was gone, I was happy. I mean, I was sad, but boy, I was happy. Icy tag. Yeah, she did. But somebody bought a second one for him. I don't know if she bought him the second one or not. Poopy with dudes in my mouth. Thanks, brother. I'm all sad, chat. Fuck. Thanks. It's been on my brain all the time. All the time. Anyway, all the time. Katie did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he ripped one leg off the old one. Now he's got it. Now I'm going to wash that up and stick that on his little uh, thing.
Mm. I mean, sad. Well, I know, I know the time's coming. <laughs> the time is coming, man. He's got to know when to pull the trigger, you know, like. It's it's especially tough for a really big dog. You know? Because you just can't... Like, most people ain't manhandling a 120-pound dog. You know what I'm saying? That's the issue. If he was a 50-pounder, it'd be no big deal. But since he's so big... I just feel... It's just a, a hard pill to swallow. Like... Physically, he's fine. Mentally, he's good. You know, all that. It's just... His body. His his hip. But that's, you know, it happens. Thank you, Returns, for 31 months. Goddamn welcome back. Welcome back. Swing and a miss. Ah! The little Chihuahua's a good little guard dog, man. They loud and they'll they'll bark at everything. Also pissing shit all over your floors. <laughs> that little Chihuahua tore up my house. Tore it up. I think I probably will get another dog, but I'm gonna do a lot of research when it comes to finding a vet. That's nothing, man. I had my I had my cocker spaniel for 15 years. I had my chihuahua for almost 18 years. Chewing furniture? Nah, she never did that. Pissing shit everywhere, though. All the, the older she got, boy, it got bad. Like when she died that day, I started ripping out the fucking carpets and the flooring in my house, and I redid everything. I was kind of waiting for her to pass along before I remodeled my house, and. That's what started me remodeling the house when she was gone. I mean, I cried. I missed her. It broke my heart that she died. But hers was a good death, man. She was pretty healthy all the way to the end. She was pretty healthy all the way to the end. And, like... I just woke up one day at uh, one one o'clock in the morning. She was making this weird barking noise, and she had had a stroke. An hour later, she was put down. It was just that easy. I, I, it would be a blessing if I found Duke like that one day, and it was over just like that. I think all of us would be blessed if we found our animal like that. It'd be hard, but at least it, it's like a cut and dry situation, you know? There is no sickness. It's all of a sudden have a stroke. They can't function. Put them down, you know? But we can't all be that lucky. My, my Cocker Spaniel wasn't like that. It is what it is. I just love animals, man. I love dogs. I probably, if, if I do get another animal, I want to get a... um. I want to get a uh, a rescue. Gee, they found there's something going on in the system, like the maintenance. I talked to them today, and they said the maintenance department has found something uh, in the area. Whether they have fixed it or they're trying to pinpoint what it is, I don't know yet. So we'll see. We will see. I didn't sleep much, and I cried a lot. Well, I haven't cried, and I'm sleeping fine, but I usually don't like... It doesn't really affect me until until it happens. Even in death, like, I remember, like, with grandparents and stuff passing and shit like that. It really did... I. I really didn't have, like... A lot of emotions until I see the dead body. Big dummy. Once I see the dead bodies and stuff, man, I'm like, man. That's when it hits home.
Yeah, I don't think you should ever have guilt about putting your dog down or your animals down. What's up, queen? I'm usually good until a few days. Now, I'm, I'm like... I remember my grandfather, like when my grandfather died, like I, I think I cried when I, I might have cried when I found out about it. I don't know. But I remember when we went to the funeral home, they had like an open casket for the, uh, for the family members. I'm not into seeing dead fucking bodies, bro. Like I, like I don't give a fuck. Like I'm, like I, I don't want to see a dead body in a casket. So they were like, oh, it's open for the family and everybody can watch. Like all my cousins and my aunt and all them, they all went in there and like my dad's side were like, no, we're good. I remember him when he was alive. I think it pissed him off. I don't care. Um, and then I never really cried until like my dad was pretty emotional because his father, of course. And then my dad had written like this, like, you know, like a letter. He wanted me to read at the, uh, I, I agreed to read to him at the, um, what the fuck? I agreed to read to him at the, uh, at, at when they're doing the funeral and um he forgot to tell me to read it at the funeral this nurse is horrible and these guys got fucking shit to the point is I guess you could say it was kind of a eulogy or whatever it was but um I got really emotional when I read it at the grave site. That's when I like broke down. Like that's when I broke down. And then my other grandfather before that one was um he when he passed. When he passed. Uh, he was cremated, so it was just a picture of him, which was really kind of weird. How the fuck are these turd stains? This nurse was fucking horrible, chat, and these guys just got annihilated by this bitch. Annihilated. The eulogy, yeah, I think that's what it was. And I got really emotional at the very end. I remember I quoted, like I added something at the end for my son. I remember my grandfather told me long, like a, like a little saying he had. And I said that at the end and that was just all, that's when I broke down. What a bunch of fucking shit stains. Like, I don't know how to do I don't know how to play against the nurse. I get the nurse every round. I, re I remember, yeah, I remember, well, I remember my great-grandmother dying, but I remember my first grandmother that passed away. Like, I didn't get emotional about it or anything until I saw the dead body in the, in the, as soon as I saw the dead, I walked in the funeral home, walked in that room, I saw the dead body in the fucking thing, that was it, I was, man, I fucking hate it. Like, I do not like seeing dead people <laughs> in a casket, man. I, don't, I do not like it. Uh, uh, but, I mean, if my mom, dad, not whenever they, you know, pass away, I would definitely go and, you know, unless they were, like, mangled up or something. But I, I just really hate seeing, I really hate that. Ugh. Uh, we never have open caskets in the UK, or at least not that I know of. Is it common? Yeah, it's pretty common in the US. I'd say open casket is probably more common than closed casket, right? In the US. It's pretty common. Like, I, like my grandfather on my dad's side, that's probably the last death in our family. Um, he was open for the family before the funeral started, but I think it was closed. I remember, when, like, he was good to go. He was, like, 94 years old. And he was fine until, like, maybe, like, the last month of his life. And I remember going to the nursing home. You know, you go check on him, talk to him and all that. But my dad had never prepared prepared me for what I was going to go see. I cried after that. I can tell you, man. Like, I didn't know what I was about to walk in on. And when I was when I was done, sell, I called my dad and said, man, you should have warned me about what I was about to walk in there. Because, man, it was... It was not good. That's like probably the last living memory I have of them, pretty much. They embalm. 
What do you do in Europe then? My brother died in a car accident when he was 24. That messed me up. I bet, man. I couldn't imagine losing my sibling. God damn. Is there a date for Dookie? No, it's not a date yet. He goes to the vet on Monday. I think we'll figure more things out on Monday. Or Monday might be it. I don't know. Five months pregnant. Yes. That's tough. Legend killer with the seven months. God damn. Thank you, my friend. Welcome back in. I appreciate it. Maybe that's why, because they don't embalm, embalm over there. <laughs> Coffin usually open, but it goes to a church or a crematorium's closed. Oh, I see. Well, I mean, usually in the United States, what happens is, you know... Dude, the funeral business is a big fucking business in the U.S. Billions of dollars. Your death, you mean, you know, your death is with a lot of money. <laughs> it costs a lot of money to have a funeral, man. It's ridiculous. It's like a wedding, but it, but but at the end of life. Uh, but normally, like, you go to the funeral home, you look at the casket, everybody, they have a little ceremony there, or whatever, for like 45 minutes or an hour, sing a couple songs or have somebody up there sing and all that. Uh, and then you usually go to the graveside. Then they actually bury the person. And that that when that whenever they leave the uh, the funeral home, that's when they close the casket and all that. Like I haven't really, I, I've been fortunate. I have a really small family. I haven't experienced a lot of death in the family. Just like the older people. Like there's no no one's ever really passed away young or anything like that. You know, it's like my great grandmother was 88 when she died. Uh, my grandmothers were like 65 and 72, I think. The fuck was that? Oh, it's a dredge. Um, 65. And then my grandfathers were 77 and 94. <laughs> the funeral business never dying. Dude, I remember doing research about like what kind of business to open up. And if you, if you like go to the states where all the people go to retire, big money. <laughs> big money. See, when I die, I'm just getting burnt up. And they're going to spread me and my dog's ashes at the ocean. That's what my... I told my sister, that's all I want. Just spread them all together. We'll float away in the Atlantic Ocean together. Fuck it. And then I'm gone. You'll still be able to find me on YouTube, chat, okay? My streams will live on on YouTube as long as they're around. Well, I actually got all my streams. I don't know what my sister would do. They might, maybe she just open up a whole fucking server and put all of my videos on that and people can watch them for centuries to come. Oh, there's always like, there's always an after party of a funeral. Y'all never said there's like a get together. I forgot what they call that, but there's always, you know, that's some booze and you'll feed everybody. There's like, there's like a party after a funeral. Not really. really it's like, you know, all the living get together and eat and shit. The wake. Yeah, that's it. That's the good part. Let's get eaten. <laughs> Dude, I have not been to a funeral. That's the sad part about all these people that died during COVID. I mean, a lot of them just died alone. Why are you suiciding on the fucking hook? Like in a hospital or somewhere all alone because they couldn't, uh, uh, she's about to throw the fucking game. Fucking moron. Yo, what up, Brock? I thought I heard him. What's up, Brox? How you doing? I can't eat when I see a dead body. I mean, it's like later. It's like an hour or two. It's usually right after you put them in the ground. And then you, uh, like, I have never been to any of the grave sites of my family members after they passed, ever. 
Like, we've only had five family members pass away that were, like, close family members, you know? God, I hope this is the basement. Oh, God. How the fuck is someone burning this pallet already, chat? This guy's a fucking maniac. Maniac, maniac, on oh, and go. Woo! Doing good, man. Let's hope I can stream today and not lose internet. I just went to a funeral last week for my baby cousin. That's terrible. The African casket boys do a dance in my urn. Do what? have a celebration of life. I had to, like, today, I had to, like, I finally talked to my sister today, and I had to tell her about, like, the financial shit I've been doing lately. Like, I had to tell her all the new stuff, because if something happens to me, basically it all gets passed to her. And that's a morbid conversation to have. <laughs> Very morbid. I want to get healed. Fuck her. Come by. Yeah, you can't put no weight on that leg. Oh boy. The increase in obese people. I bet. I bet the funeral homes love that shit. You're like the fatter, the better. Yeah, you fucked up, nerd. Tunnel her! He didn't break them all. Pump. Yeah, the fatter people get the more money, right? I, w I was watching this thing about how... In the coming years, the United States military is going to be in like it's 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 coming down to a crisis that the amount of people that can't even pass basic physical training when they get into the military. Apparently, that's a huge it's becoming a problem. Like they almost have to go through a program before they can, they're going to have to like open up a program before people can get into the military so they can like get a little bit in the shape and slim the fuck down. What's up, Crimson? See, if I were to die, like, if I was the last existing family man, there's anything left to, like, leave my family, uh, I'm not leaving anything to, to my cousin's sides it's all gonna go to like a charity or like uh i think i i think if i were like alone and i was the last living family member i think i would talk to someone what is up with my fucking teams right now and i would i would start a um a foundation And that foundation, and that foundation, uh, would probably be something to do with dogs and stuff like that, or like, so I don't know. That's how I would leave my money to. <laughs> Fuck the rest of them. I'm in the military, and I can confirm that, not to be sexist, but it's mostly a small percent of females that have issues. I, I, a, a lot of males, man, it was, a, it was all over the place. It was all over the place. No soldiers needed. Oh, there will always be bodies. They will always need bodies. Yeah. 
Come on, baby. 4% us. Dude, listen. It is shit stained teammates again. There's no way in hell these te the, like you cannot tell me chat that matchmaking is working. These guys are nowhere near as I would think like on my playing level. Even if I were to die, I think I would tell my sister cuz man, they they're they're pretty financially good to go and be fine. <laughs> like I would like to see what like whatever little bit I have made in my life or whatever go to go to a good cause. I think I think that life is like life is what it is, but life is not what's made made of what's life was. Vince's predator rank in DVD. I am. And I'm getting this is bronze this, this is bronze fucking lobbies right now. Bronze fucking lobbies. Dude, this motherfucker has iron grasp. Who the fuck runs iron grasp? Are these all console fucking nerds? We're gonna have a conversation. He's console fucker. What do you? Yeah, I think Ace was doing pretty good. This girl completely stayed injured the whole fucking round, and I could have healed her in five seconds with my build. I have no worries. My son get. Yeah, if I had kids, I'm have kids would get everything I own. But I, like, I don't have. I don't have any. So like, I won't have any kids. And my sister doesn't have any kids. Like, my sister had kids. They would get everything, you know? <laughs> my copy of DVD is going to be cremated with me so nobody ever has to suffer. <laughs> I'm going to digitize my Steam account and put it, like, on a flash drive, and they're going to throw that in the fucking uh, cremator and burn it with me. So my whole Steam account's gone. At least you have one child. If you have multiple child, they all like, you know, you gotta spread that shit, or they all they're all going to argue. Uh, can I get you channeled in, Vince? My beard isn't as godly, and my English, we but we all can't be perfect. Can I? What my my uh my Twitch channel? I'm pretty sure my Twitch channel is going to die with me. I don't think I can be replaced. Just like every other streamer out there. We're all individual people. You would find someone new to watch, but it'll never be the same. Why are we... Man, this is some morbid shit today. Why are we, why are we on this... This today, chat. <laughs> Burn my porn games with me. <laughs> you mean hooked on you dead by daylight, which we will be giving away a copy of that today, boys and girls. Hooked on you. Dude, I tell you what, man. Is anybody here uh, into drinking tea? 
I got this black mando, black mango oolong. Man, mwah, money. It is money. Have I played the Mortray Assistant? No, I haven't played that. I, I see a lot of Dead by Daylight people are doing it. I love some dick tea. Shit, I like dick in my mouth too. Dick tea. That sounds, it's good. It's, it's, I bought it off of Amazon. It's called the Tale of Tea. It's my second glass of it today. I like oolong. I think oolong's probably my favorite tea. Like I drink this other shit called like Black Dragon oolong, and then um, Black Dragon oolongs and the uh, what's the other one? And now this Black Mango. I mean, I'll drink some green tea. Green tea's okay, you know. It's not my favorite, but this Black Mango shit's like fucking bomb. It's very orange. You can really taste the mango, <laughs> like orangey. Earl Grey, yeah. And there's this other one called like, it's like Black Rose or something. Loose Leaf, oh yeah. Nope. 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 I'm just going to tell this bunny mama right now, you do not want to fuck with me. Go find some other turd stain to go creep on, okay? You're going to waste a lot of time if you fuck with me. Where is she? Big black turd cam. He's here. He's laying down. Mint tea. I never had a mint tea. I, I stopped drinking coffee a few weeks ago because, man, like, I would drink coffee and it would just make me feel like shit. Like, I could go out and get, like, a, a Dunkin' Donuts coffee. No problem. I'm fine. But, man, if I drank, like, if I made my own at my house, it just made me feel like shit. It's the drink of the gods. Sounds good. I don't know why. Just something about when I made it at home just made me feel pretty bad most of the time. I still do the roulette. It's called Perk Royale. And I haven't done it in a long time, but I do still have it. Maybe we'll maybe we'll we'll whip it out. I thought about bringing those back to YouTube. But most people don't want to watch stuff like that. They want to watch, like, the best of... They want to watch you juke a killer with a certain build or play a killer with a certain build and shit like that. That's what YouTube's all about. YouTube is literally not, like, uh... My kind of comedy doesn't do, do well on YouTube, I don't think. If you have a pod machine, try running a clean cycle. I don't have a pod machine. I just have a regular, just a regular Mr. Coffee things. Oh, and I would clean them out with vinegar and all that shit. Hooked on you ain't my game. <laughs> have you tried it? I haven't tried it yet. I got one more copy to give away today, though. My penis. They never did great on uh, YouTube Shorts and TikTok. Well, I probably stopped. But by the time I started doing stuff like that, <clears throat> I could go back and just fucking put the clips up. I got tied, tied it. I got a ton of them. Did she fall down the hole? Down in the hole. Here's another group of teammates that cannot get a fucking gen done. Pomegranate. I like pomegranate. It's another team doing nothing. You found me through YouTube, really? I just have a hard time. It's hard sticking with it, man. 
I need to get back on it. <laughs> Big dumb bunny. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Shit stain incorporated. Motherfucking shit stain incorporated. You can DC without a cooldown because you're a fog, right? I don't know if I have. I don't know how true that is. And if all the fog whispers have a, a DC penalty, like revoke, or I don't. I don't know. I, I don't disconnect. You found me through YouTube also? Really? Did you like them? Like, all my videos, Queen, are basically memes. I got that really long 28-minute doctor around to stick on YouTube. I like pomegranate. I ain't never had no pomegranate tea, though. See, look, here is another fucking shit stain fucking lobby. If you look right now, chat, I'm the only one that has done two fucking generators. I can heal her in like five seconds and she fucking runs away. Fucking people, man. This is today's awful. <laughs> the lobbies today have been pretty bad. Well, I can't. I hey, let me tell you something, chat. When I play killer, I can I can bet your ass I'll never have lobbies like these. I guarantee fucking tee it. I guarantee you. We won't have, like, I'll have every dipshit in the fucking, like, I'll have every SEAL Team 6, every eSports ready team in the world. You found me through Sick Rabbit? Nice. Check. Remember that? That was every time I was on the hook. Check. <laughs> Player in Pimp. Yo, what's up? Thanks for the 21 months of Prime, baby. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Dude, poopy hat these people don't even know about Rose and Jack anymore. I wonder why I stopped doing that one. Things evolve over time. You you know, you add things, lose things, you forget about, you know. That's old school. Oh, I remember we played the I would play the Titanic thing. We can't do that no more. But I think Jack and Rose died way before that. Shitty flute version only. Oh no, we played the real deal. I'm pretty sure there's an image running around there somewhere. With me, like with, with Kate. And me as Leonardo. I'm pretty sure someone photoshopped that. I can't believe this is literally the third solo gen I've done this round. I feel like matchmaking MMR probably does a good job when I play killer. But when I play survivor, there is no fucking way in hell it's working. Come here, hoe bag. Fucking shit stain. Nailed it. What I'm dealing with. I feel like this other girl's working pretty well. 
What the fuck? Save my pussy. I bet they're in the middle of the damn map. Dude, this Kate cannot stand on her fucking feet, chat. She just cannot. Oh, my God. See, look. No. Chat, I've not been hung one time. And all these guys are on their death fucking hooks. Shut up, Kalani. Go touch your vagina somewhere else, Eskimo. Kalani, can I show them the Eskimo Kalani picture? What do you think you're going to go do down there besides die, dummy? Now you you might have deleted it, but I have it. It's called Save on My Hard Drive. Spank fuel. Oh, it's it's not a spank fuel picture. Come on now. Come on now. I'll show it right after this round. <laughs> well, she did say David. I have done three generators by myself. And this will be the fourth one. What the fuck? Oh, you got lucky, bitch. She finally got me. Now we can see what these dumbasses do. Is the other girl in a locker? She done got me. Solo queue is getting worse. Listen, it's always been terrible. <laughs> there is no, it's gotten worse. It's always been awful. But I believe it has gotten worse. I don't think MMR is working as a survivor. There's no way in hell, like, I get matched up with teammates anywhere near my level of skill. Like, at all. But then again, they got chased the whole round and I didn't. So, that's just why I got all the gens done. Good luck, stupid. David's dick now. Did you drop down the hole? Down in a hole. Ready to blow. I know how they got chased. It was called very short chases. What the fuck? Where'd she come from? I'm the one that deserves to live, not them. They don't deserve shit. Blech. 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 Oh, what the fuck is David doing? Kill that asshole! Stick it in his ass! Okay, chat. It's time.
Oh, she wants the 4K. It's her 4K Sunday. I get it. Me too. <laughs> Drop my Vincent Vega water bottle and put a dent in it. Uh-uh. Really? I knocked it off my walker. Uh, did the... It, did the cat break? Do you feel different? Ah! I, oh my god, I feel better. Well, I didn't know that was a fucking thing. David, you're going to fucking bleed out. I am not coming to get your sorry ass. We'll hang out in the. I'm gonna hang out in the basement. <laughs> your cap's good. Yeah, I can. I can resell the caps if, if you need one. If you break them, a lot of people are broken the caps. Kalani broke a cap. Uh, Schultz broke a cap. Somebody else broke a cap too. I had to send one out. I forgot who. Who is that, Dalek Devil, with that big dick swinging? Hell yeah. I got time. Hell yeah. Dalek Devil. Uh, I'm at a loss for words for Devil. Uh, tier 3, 51 months. Feedback, motherfucker. Make a somebody think we're the big dick swinging support. Hell yeah. Thank you, man, for that tier 3 love. Well, fuck. Yeah, David, you're just gonna have to fucking bleed out. I ain't gonna come get you, sorry. Yet. We got a key, chat. All I need now is some H penis. I got to urinate. Two glasses of tea, man. Maybe I should just let her close it. I deserve this. I deserve this. David don't care. He's a console player. He don't give a fuck. I deserve that. Well deserved. <laughs> Who's ready for 4K Sunday chat? Match and gifts us for every fucking 4K. Let's see if we can get a goddamn 4K. Oh, we're trying to do this. Kill 10 survivors by any means necessary. Uh, I tell you, well, let's start the day out with a Legion round because that's fun. Fun. Terminator Legion. I gotta urinate. I'll be back. Uh, they changed Thana. Not a lot of people run Thana anymore, right? Do you have a name for that race car you drove around, Vince? Kill around. Oh, no. That was just the Speed Racer Wraith. 
That's like me after a single beer, break the seal. Oh, I was like, man, when I drank beer, dude, I was pissing all the time. How does it have so many blood points? Does it not cap at a million? It caps at two million now. Two million. Put the key as a trophy. Anyway, Patreon, for you Tier 3 Patreons out there, I think Tuesday night after stream is our meeting, our, 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 our monthly talk if y'all want to talk with me. But I'll send you a message probably tonight. You only lose if you're AFK with the Legion on this build. Watch me lose. Who the hell are you? I like this this mask because he breathes fucking weird. Oh, they're all oh they're not all PC players. Princess Sunday Sun Aid. What? Uh, did you play this game on day one? I sure did. Well, actually, it came out like on uh, it came out for like a uh, beta weekend. It came out. Oh, I think it came out on a Thursday or a Friday. Uh, and then Saturday Saturday I saw a, a friend of mine was playing it. Uh, I contacted him. He gave me a code, and I started playing on Sunday. And I played this game for two hours before stream on Sunday, and I was hooked right away. And then Monday, Tuesday, it released. Like, this game came out in beta chat for a weekend and immediately released afterwards. There was no fixing nothing. It was like, is it going to work? Okay. Open the floodgates. But, yes, I've been playing consistently since day one. We oui. brand the done 10 months of prime. Hell yeah. We no we we as in yes, yes. Thanks for the 10, man. Don't forget about your Twitch Primes, ladies and gentlemen. Blow your load. Was it a $60 game? No, it was 20 bucks. $19.99. This game was hell when it first started. Oh my god. Infinites. This game was kind of like it got a the gameplay what carried this game because you only had four survivors and three killers. And the grind to get perks on your ship was ridiculous. <laughs> it was hard to get get uh, stuff on it. Hard like my dick. <laughs> Where is this fucking wall I want to break? Mocha man, 16 months of prime. Baby, he's burning his load. Thank you. Thanks, Mocha. I started here. I'm an idiot. You can run, but you can't hide. Wait a minute. Oh. Uh. Where'd this fucking cake go? Let's get this one regressing. She didn't have the iron Willis. Oh, yeah. Blow it up. Back on that gen already. We're having a really bad start. It's back on this fucking gen. Did she go this way? 
Oh yeah, they're here banging each other now. Uh, they're having a three-way! Three-way! Come here, you're the dirty bitch healing everybody. They ain't got no boon up. Boon on this cock. I didn't hear a boon go up, did you guys? They're still over here, just healed that girl. Yep, there they are. I suck at touching nerds with this guy. What's up, Ando? This motherfucker over here doing. Ah! All injured. Trying to get this generator done. How dare they? Titties! Titties. Sloppy work and frenzy hits? Yeah, it does. I fucking hate that in particular loop for the reason that um, when you're on it. See, Chad, I'm going to get every SEAL Team 6 in the world today. Where did her fucking shit go? Oh, fuck a miss. And she gets the power because of that. God damn it. I knew I heard her. She's a god. Got your sorry ass that time. Is she running lightweight? I don't know what the fuck she's running. I gotta get one of these nerds dead. I don't like this building because like there's there's like little chunks of metal on all the ramps. You can't fucking like get around any of it. Thank you. I know this is the other fucking cave. Fuck this up. It, that should not have stunned me. <laughs> that should 100% not have stunned me. That's fucking ridiculous. Chad, we're going to ass, ass whoop right now. I cannot follow scratch marks right now. See, look, I don't ever get to frenzy someone twice. I never get to frenzy twice. It's really rare that I get, like, get the, uh, you know. I feel like when I play against other legions, they're nonstop frenzying like crazy. I don't ever get that luxury. Come here. Wow, it's the Vincent Wega. It's the Vincent Wega. What's up, Egg Doctor? Thank you for the 33, baby. Welcome back. Is that the boon? I don't think they're booning. I didn't hear any boons. There's the boon. Now someone put a boon up. Maybe we got a shitty map. What the fuck? Bitch. <laughs> We're back on that fucking gen. I'm gonna kill her so I can get one out of the round. <sighs> uh, 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 uh. 
Mm-mm. All right, we got one out. All right, now we can slow shit down. Now we can slow this fucking shit down. Dink doink. Add-ons. I think I got Joey and something. I have no idea what the Legion add-ons, the good ones, are to use. I ain't seen your Jen Ash and Russ around. Where are you? Where are you? You're the one banging out Jens. I hear her. Oh, I want to hit her. I want to hit her. Thank you. I hit her. What am I stuck on? <laughs> Fuck! Why am I stuck? They need to make these loops smooth. I'm tired of getting stuck on shit every fucking time I turn around. Stuck, stuck, stuck. Fuck it, I gotta kill her. Taking way much, much time, but it's gotta be done. Oh my gosh, she had dab hard. She had to fucking dab hard! I lost this round. God damn it. Those other gens haven't been done that much, so we're good. Don't worry about it. This building, I can show you the spots that are a nightmare. It's those fucking ramps. Them ramps is like non-stop getting stuck on shit. And they added this when they, re like all this bullshit here and this fucking short shit there. It's fucking dumb. Let's hope they stay back here and fucking try to heal. And they did. Come on. <laughs> Got to tap this one. Mm -mm. I just heard her above me. Ding, doink. The only way you lose with this Legion chat is if you AFK during the round. Who big brain that? Who's the one who big brain that one? Who said that? This is the Jill. I think it's in a locker. Now she ran this way. All right, to this gen over here. All right, we're good now. She's over here somewhere. Oh my God, I can't track where the fuck right now. Stop being so fucking elusive! You're pissing me off! Are they in lockers, you think?
Not to mention if they fucking fall down, you can't fucking hear them anyway. Like, I'm not gonna catch you. I don't know where the boon is either. One of them had a boon out. There she is. This is good because the Zarina's over here too. Just heard it's back there. Fucked up there. Oh, I'm breaking it. Dab hard? Oh my gosh, she fucking got it. She did have to dab hard. This is that fucking Windows bitch. Yeah, please do that again. She's gotta have windows. Someone's on that gen, I just heard it. This is GG though, she doesn't have windows here. That gem will erupt once I hang her. Uh, uh, Fucking dabbed on again. Fucking dabbed on. We gotta re we gotta re relearn ourselves. That gem did not blow up. It should have. Oh my God! The first time. Why are you unhooking as soon as they fucking go over there? You're fucking pissing me off. Come here, hoe bag. Stop pissing me off. Yeah, right here. Where there are no fucking pallets, honey. No fucking pallets for you. You had dab hard too, didn't you? Yeah, you did. I remember that shit. I don't forget. Let's put you over here next to the generator so I can keep an eye on your side fucking ass. Take her! What's up, team, Matt? It's a 31, man. Are you still in Vegas? Yeah, thanks for 31 months, man. Much appreciated. Welcome back in. Welcome back. Fuck these nerds! Alright, the boom was over here. Okay, whoever had the boon's dead. Well. They ain't touching no generator. Okay, there's scratch marks over here. What? Did you guys not see her run right here? I saw her run right here. You saw that, right? <laughs> uh, I guess I'm missing out on something. Yeah, I heard her now. There she is. Come here, motherfucker. Stab your ass. <laughs> Take me to your friend. Ah! 
Where the fuck is this Kate? Doing nothing. <laughs> Over here doing absolutely nothing. Oh, okay. You want to click? Let's go. She wants to click? Chat, I like to click. I like to... I did not mean to do that. First you click it, and then we stick it. Are we fucking, girl? We fucking. Why am I out of a chase? Why am I literally out of a fucking chase? She's gonna dab hard here. Yes, please flashlight blind me. Waste all your time. Yeah, come on. Huge dab hard. Way to go. Shit stain. Nine hours arena is that. Game over. Luckily she ain't healed. Hell no! 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 Oh my god. Leaving Vegas right now. You at the airport? Yo, nice man. Yeah, the funny part about flying into air to Vegas is as soon as you walk down the ramp, as soon as you get to the airport, boom, slot machines. <laughs> it's like the party starts as soon as you get off the off the plane. Yo, team, I don't know how your plane rides off from I think Seattle or wherever you live, but when I when I leave Balt when I left Baltimore to go from Baltimore to Vegas, dude, that was the party fucking plane. Everybody was drunk. It was loud up in there. It was happening. It's the only flight I've ever had like that. You only lose. Yeah, I didn't really stretch that out, though. All right, boys. There it is. First 4K of the day. Getting out free gift subs. Anybody matching? It's it's spread the cock Sunday, my friends. Spread the cock Sunday. Are you spreading the cock? I'm about to spread my cock. Y'all spread, spread cock yesterday like crazy. That's why my voice is fucked up today. I want to go back to Vegas bad, man. Like, I want to go go out and have some fun in Vegas. I, I miss Vegas, man. It was like one of my favorite places to go. Hell yeah, we're going deep right now. Charlie, welcome in. Jackie, matching that gets up. Uh, Flipper, welcome in. Vontavious. I didn't see who got yours, though. And Dirt with a five. Bond gives some chocolate. Mom. Brox wants to match it, too. Nine, welcome in. Thank you, Brox. You did it up yesterday, bro. Yeah, what's up, old man? I thought I was on pub yesterday for the amount of cocks. <laughs> Dude, there was cocks everywhere. Cocks everywhere. Night howler deuces. Get the two gifts so us right in mind. Welcome in. Jack it out of them. Give dirt some fucking chocolate buns and give us gifts, damn it. Oh man, there was something I wanted to talk to you about. I forgot what it was. Fuck. Who's that? Stasis voice match that gifts side. Darth Venom, welcome in. Thank you, status, man. Appreciate it. Let's play, let's play Leatherface. <laughs> yeah, something I want to say I forgot. I've always wanted to visit Florida or Texas. The price is the same for you. Well, prices right now to travel. Airplane, I don't know if you search for like airplane tickets. Ridiculous. Seeing the slot machines at the airport meant you were home. <laughs> I thought that was funny because I never flown into Vegas before. I didn't know what to expect. First time I was there, but as soon as I got off the plane, you walk down the, the, like the ramp of the plane into the main airport, and boom, there's like this big old thing of slot machines just greeting you. But that that plane ride, man, from Baltimore to Vegas, it was on a, I don't know what day of the week it was, but it was at night. We flew in, it was already dark. So you can see like, when you're landing, you can see the strip, it was cool. Man, that was the part. The people next to me, I had to get up like 50 fucking times so they go urinate. I bet they had to dump the piss on that pl on that plane like four or five times on that trip. Because, <laughs> man, there were a lot of drinkers and a lot of urinating going on. Naya Howler, thank you for the nine months. We having a baby. Max for four fucking years. Thank you, brother. Long time. Welcome back. Even 7-Eleven got a slot machine there, do they? Years. Yeah, but doesn't Nevada don't have a scratch off, right? Like they don't have state lottery, right? Nevada? At least someone told me that. See you, lady. Have fun. 
I keep getting a hairdresser in my dinkum. I might uh, do after hours with some Isaac tonight, though. We'll see. Man, yo, uh, old man, what time are you starting tomorrow for your uh, uncapped subathon? Because you're old. True that? Is Dinkum like Stardew? I I can't really say that because I only play Stardew for like 20 minutes. But it looks like Animal Crackers. People Island. <laughs> I've seen streamers play that. Uh-oh, all PC squad. They gots to be together. Dinkum is definitely a great game for 20 bucks, so I, I really enjoy it. Thursday is going to be a really cool game. We can play with chat with uh, Twitch integration. It's called Cult of the Lamb. It's kind of like Hades, Binding Isaac type game. Uh, but you guys can name your... We can uh, do do raffles. You guys can get names in the game. Uh, there's things to vote on. It's all completely tr uh, Twitch integrated. He'd have some coffee with the folks. That's cool. You got your new camera ready? We haven't done it yet. But that'd be Thursday. Usually I start with DVD. Thursday we'll start with that game. I'm having internet problems right now, but they say they found they found uh the maintenance crews found something and and they're looking for it now or something. Or they made that they might have fixed it today. I don't know. They found something today. So I doubt it's fixed. So, you know, we'll have to struggle. I'll be calling the motherfuckers every day till it's fixed now. Camera, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna have to keep that thing well charged, I think, right? I'm interested to watch your, uh, I really want to see that camera parts of your stream. Like, old oh man, if it goes for like 30 days, how are you going to bang the old lady? And like, are you going to put it like shower, like in the shower, you're like he head up. Are you even going to go to the gym? You get the animals when we fucking. <laughs> yeah, stay right there, dip, dumbass. Well, there goes corrupt intervention. Spies, baby. Spies, chat. Spies. Dude, that bill is dedicated to that chest, isn't he? He's like, that is my chest. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Somebody ran that way, so they're going to go for the save. Dink, going. Banging the old lady. His old lady. That's his wife. Oh, come on. Loop around the guy on the hook, please. Let's do this. Yeah, sleep around the guy on the hook. Yeah, stay right here. Stay right here. I'm down. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Stay, don't you dare leave. Don't you fucking leave. You stay right here by the guy on the hook. Stay right here. Don't go anywhere. Don't you go anywhere. I will M1 you, and you will like it. I fucking hate this building. I just heard another one run this way. You're not as cool as you think you are. Yes, play that window right there. Play it again. it for that. Oh, you lucky to pal out here, bitch. That should have fucking hit him and stunned him. I think this guy has windows. He's probably not worth fucking with.
All right, we found the weakest link. We found the two weakest links. Uh, you get the animals when we're fucking. <laughs> Still. God damn it. This fucking building again. Well, I'll tell you what, this one here. This one here. Special. Ferrets look I bet the they'd love the ferrets. Dude, they already healed that girl. Literally already fucking fully healed. Oh, I hear the boom, that's why. And there's a new scratch mark boom. Yeah, we ain't, we're not gonna win this round. It's pretty much done, though. Unless we can kill this arena quickly. She has licked me in the butthole and still fucked it up. <laughs> uh, you fucked up. Should have taken that window and now I get M1 you. Dude, they are butt fucking that barn like no other today. This is an unwinnable round. Oh god, now we got the fucking pig tree to deal with. Luckily, she's fucking terrible. And she's got this fucking window. Thank God she's terrible. And she's dead. Come on, dummy. Come on, big dummy. You can learn a lot from a dummy. What do you know? It's the same boom. Get these gens. I'd rather them get that gen done. Think, doink. That's barely been moved on. Let's check this other one. Oh, it's pumping. Sprint burst! Why is this pallet still fucking up here? Why are you so dumb, Bill? Is she the fucking Booner? find this bill. <laughs> this guy right here is the uh, strongest player on the team. We just gotta keep him busy and keep him away from this generator. The other guys aren't on this will tick down pretty quickly.
This fucking guy and his goddamn sprint burst, man. He tried to get me. Think, boink. I, I gotta get somebody on the fucking hook. There goes Bill. We're gonna have to run this Bill down. That guy is a fucking tryhard, isn't he? <laughs> that guy is trying seriously hard. I'm right over here, Bill. Keep running into fucking pigs and shit. He gets away because I had to break that fucking pallet. I need to down this motherfucker. Down, Bill, down! Down, motherfucker, down! Oh, they got the gen done, assholes. She used the booner, but she's staying uh, injured now. Dude, I just got him on the fucking hook. Gotta keep them both off of it. We definitely don't. Oh. All right. We're getting somewhere now. Fuck these little nerds. Let's put them right back by the generator. We got to check the other general side of the map, too. Building this filthy little fucking sprint burst. Will someone use the pallet at the fucking shack, please? Please! Got your ass. What's up, Rodrigo? They're going good. We're getting there. Slowly but surely, we're fucking getting there. I told you, like, I, when I get when I play Survivor, I get the dumbest motherfuckers in the world. And then when I play this shit, SEAL Team 6 all day long. It's like MMR works when I'm a killer, but not when I'm a Survivor. I'm just waiting. That guy eventually is going to fuck up. They're gonna push right, and I want them to push left. Man, she's fucking lucky. And she's terrible. All right, here we go. Now we still don't want to fuck with that guy yet. Bill's on the generator. We ain't done yet. You shall not pass, motherfucker. William. I don't think the other guy's got a way to heal himself. I didn't want to chainsaw. I know if I chainsaw, he was going to go straight to that. Um... He 
It's gonna go straight to the thing. We're just gonna get this guy on the ground, and then we're gonna go find Jake. That shouldn't have hit him. <laughs> I wouldn't even, he wouldn't even on my screen. All right, now we're about five. Bill's got unbreakable. Do you think Jake's smart enough to be over here? Nope, he's just hiding. All along the watchtower. Like a cat. I got spies on, and this guy's saying, like, fuck, there we go. That's all we needed, boys. He is completely healed up, too. This he got licked me in the butthole. He just want to run for Bill. Yep. See, a player like this, he's really good at looping, so we just saved him for last. Bill's right here. I hear him. Shit stain. <sighs> Alright, chat, we can breathe. I swear to God, this guy fucking four percents. I'm gonna I'm just gonna throw up my mouth. I'm gonna pee in your butthole. I guarantee it. He's got to have windows. One time. Two times. Three times, my ladies. Man, we had to slug this one out, didn't we? Uh-uh, you little piece of shit. Come here. Hit him again. <laughs> uh, we had to work for it. Alright, there's another 4K. Matching out free gifts, subs. This is how we spread the cock. Who's gonna spread the cock? Look at old boy here. Look. I hope we don't fuck this other leg up before I can give him to the vet. Poor doggy. Poor doge. All right, where is Jake or Jeff? He did not have windows of opportunity. He had parental guide. I'm seeing a lot of this parental guidance now. Huh. Is that after stunning? Stunning the killer. Is blind kind of stun? Vontavious matching it. Welcome in. Ransom, thank you, Vontavious. Brand Jr. Welcome in. What did he do to his leg? It's just arthritis. Like, uh, his hip's going bad. I don't think there's anything you're going to be able to do to him. Maybe give him a shot or something. He's just old. And at the end of the day, like, even if they could do something for him for, like, surgery or whatever, I'm not going to do that. Like, I'm not going to put him through surgery. So, unfortunately, uh, he's probably not going to be around much longer. 
which sucks. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Mm -mm. Oh, I got him on this other stuff from the vet. I give him two a day. It doesn't do shit. It doesn't even help him at all. Maybe there's some kind of magic pill they can give him. <laughs> he just got an old like like over the last couple of months. Like he, he you know, every once in a while he would lend his consequent helping. Nah, it's been about five days of it. Six, five or six days. Um. But like the last three, especially the last three weeks has gotten like to the point where he can't walk on it anymore or like put any weight on it or he doesn't put any weight on it. I don't know how, like I got to call the vet previous to my appointment because the office is nothing but tile floor and he, he cannot walk on tile floors. So I don't know what they're going to do. I wouldn't even put the dog through surgery right now. I got throw rugs in my house. I had to buy a bunch of throw rugs for him. He got to the point about two weeks ago. He got to the point where he would like, you could tell he did not want to go on the hardwood floors. What's a pet taxi? I ain't got a baby stroller. I wonder if they have like some kind of wagon or stretcher they can use. I'm gonna have to call and ask them. I'm sure they've they've dealt with stuff like this before, you know. He's a big ass dog. What's up, Christicles? a pet crate you can line with carpet I guess I could put him in my kennel he's almost too big for even the big ass kennel I got titties titties I'm not gonna call uh, probably Monday I didn't tell them if they have any cancellations. Uh, you know, I, I need to get in as soon as possible. Commit the top of my top of my banana. Stop, chat. We're getting sad now. I mean, if he can walk outside in the grass and on, on the, the carpet and stuff, but the second that he's, he has to put that foot on a um, slick surface, he would probably only have to put the sock on his one foot. Yeah, hopefully, I don't know if dogs can get quarter zone shots or whatever. Hopefully they can give him a shot or something that'll help him out. But either way, like, you know, I got to come to come to terms. That he's getting old and his better days are behind him. You know, that's the sucking part. Were they expensive? Come make a type of man, type of my banana. Don't mind me, just working on the gen, bro. He knows. He knows. That's some bullshit. Lightweight, lucky break, Iron Willis. You what? You what? For two shots, damn. Oh, my 
poor dog. Be a sad. It's gonna be a. It's gonna be a sad stream with him gone, isn't it? <laughs> We're gonna lose some mojo, man. And the dog's gone. But maybe there'll be an adventure to get another one or a new one. But you never, you never, never replace the old one. I found it. Why don't you run resilience with honor with us? Don't like it. Um, I've been wearing you, you running this boon. <laughs> I'm subbed that day. <laughs> Uh, well, we'll have like a uh, we'll have a goodbye stream to Dookie if if uh, if it all comes down to it, we'll we'll spend a little time with Dookie. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, if he lives another, if he can be good to go for another year, I'll be ecstatic. Or they give him some shots and help him out or whatever they want to do to him. How long did the cortisone shots last? I'm just worried about his other leg. He's putting a lot of pressure on his, his legs. Oh, come the fuck on! Oh, I didn't realize he had the fucking shit. If you hadn't blown that bitch up, we would have gotten the fucking gent done! MMR chat, we got MMR'd again. Well, that's the thing about animals, man. They, they, they come and go in our lives. I don't believe that Texas, like. I mean, you can like, I know people that like, they've spent all kinds of crazy money on their dogs to do this, that, and whatever. Uh, to prolong their life and it prolonged their life a little bit or not even that long and like I'm not doing all that I think he knows right now I, I really think the dog knows already mm -mm -mm -mm. oh yeah if he eats if he's he he's gotten picky he's a picky eater like he doesn't like eating dry food much anymore Ooh. Um, he just like wet food. But he's still eating. Like, I don't even, I don't even get, he, I bring his food bowl to him now. Like, he doesn't even get up to eat no more. I just bring it to him and lay it in front of him. When he's done eating, I take it away from him. My dog's got like metal in both of his legs. God damn. How old was he? Usually with a dog, like a dog won't stop eating because they're in pain. They'll stop eating because they're sick or whatever. I've never had to put down a dog because they wouldn't, they'd stop eating. They usually, uh, well, I, I think Colby might have stopped eating. I don't know. He was, he was old. Lyme disease, arthritis out. He he was in rough shape, man. He was very old. I don't think that I hadn't started streaming when I had my when Colby was alive. I don't, I only had uh, Duke and Zoe. Which I don't think any of us really miss Zoe. <laughs> ha ha ha! I was kidding! I was just kidding! <laughs> what? Did he try to mori me chat?
Yeah, we're, same thing with people. When you're sick, you don't want to eat that much either. Oh, God, he did, he did burn a Mori. <laughs> oh. Press. Press. I got to call tomorrow about getting my truck serviced. Press. You guys want to do some late night Isaac streaming tonight? Someone went and told Miss Little Space Cat that Vinnie Mac Mac Daddy. Oh no, he wants to mori me, chat. That Vinnie Mac Mac Daddy has a second account he streams Isaac on. He's fuck. He wants to mori me. No, Daddy, no. He decided it was not in his best interest to come get my sorry ass. Have you tried horse liniment gel? Uh-uh, what's that? God damn it, Kate. Shit. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Now I get Mori. Now I fucking get Mori. Why ain't the fucking door open? Damn it, I don't make this door. Ah! These fucking teammates with 99 in the door, and she's right fucking there. Crimson Red. <laughs> uh, that was actually a decent team. We had a decent team. I don't think he caught one person in a bear trap. We use it on our box for his hip and muscle aches. I never heard of that. His his hip's really bad right now, though. When they took me to college, they put my bags down in front of the dorm and said, better get a job. Well, it sounds like you, your parents didn't like you. <laughs> it sounds like your parents like your sister more than you. Have you seen a therapist about that? That could fuck you up. I saw a therapist. I'm the black sheep of the family, but that's okay. I I I I I absorbed that role. I've been the black sheep my entire fucking life. I think over the day I was born, I was the fucking black sheep. And I've lived my entire life that way. I'm used to it. Mr. Grim Undead. That's definitely a dead by daylight main right there. I had to, I had to let my older rat boy, my older boy rats, like actually rats. Black sheep, eh, not ignored, always treated, treated different because you're like an outsider. Now, I wasn't like that, like, like growing up on my, like on my father's side, like our family was the black sheep of the family compared to my, my aunt's side, you know? Like that's how we always felt. Deep into intense physiotherapy. Oh, psychotherapy. That's good, man. It's good you got identified a problem. Go get it taken care of. That's that's a, you know, that's half the fucking battle right there. Getting a, you know, how, 
just just going to the therapist for the very first time, if you can get past that step, man, you've won the battle. <laughs> well, you're starting to win the battle. That's the hardest part is getting your foot in the fucking door. And then it's then there's the whole thing of trying to find a therapist that's good for you because you you're probably not going to find it on the first attempt. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're hard to find. So if you find a good one, you gotta stick with them. Therapy's pretty good though, man. It helped me a lot. Fred Cock. He's already touched me, and I like being touched. Fred Dick. Fred Dick, Fred Dick. Oh my God, he's got that fucking thing that blocks everything. He's got fake pallets everywhere. That's a fake fucking pallet. This one's not. <laughs> Suck that fake pallet dick, Freddy. Suck that fucking fake pallet dick. That's a fake one. I already knew it. No. That's a real one. Using every goddamn pound in the round. All your pallets belongs to me, motherfucker. Motherfucker. This is a real pallet. Real pallet height. <laughs> the fucking door's blocked. He misplayed that. This is a real pallet. <laughs> I do not want to go down anywhere near the fuck hut. This is a real pallet. I promise you. Hell no. Let's get greedy. Greedy motherfucker. Oh, he's bloodlusting. He's bloodlusting. He got me. He fucking bloodlusted. You little shit stain. At least somebody's on generator. You look pretty white for a black sheep. It's a figure of speech, dude. I've never felt accepted or welcome anywhere in life, so I know how being a black sheep feels. Twitch is probably one of the only most accepting places I've ever been on. <laughs> I wish I was that little half moon right there, chat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> half moon me up inside. She's like, man, all these pallets are fake. Where'd the real ones go? Use them all. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You go every three months. I was going every week. And then I went like every other week. And then at the very end, I was like, and then, like, you get to the point with a the therapist where you're kind of just, like, hanging out, shooting the shit for almost an hour. And then that's when you decide, I think I'm okay now. I might I might go back. She was really good. She was a bird lady. She was old, though. I don't know if she's still even doing therapy work. He's back! I know that's a real pallet, Freddy. I didn't use it last time. Stop. You fucking shit stain! Stop. He almost missed me. Well, I knew my, like the, I actually had to go to two different therapists. The first one, I don't know if I want to say the first one was kind of a joke, but she really didn't like deep dive or nothing. After about 20 minutes talking to her, she told me what she think I should do. 
And I pretty much didn't need therapy. <laughs> she was pretty funny. And then this other therapist, man, from like, when I got there, within the 10 or 15 minutes, man, we were deep in shit. Like, we were fucking deep. Like, I didn't think I was going to get into the shit like we were going to get into, like, way out the gate. But she went fucking deep diving. I'm like, yeah, this is the one right here. This is the one. She was really good. But you'll, you'll hit a point where you max out, though, I think. And then you probably need to see somebody else or, you know, you pretty much got where you need to get to. And my insurance is really good. It covered all of it. Bless. I just want to say, man. Fucking shit. Hold on, baby. Let me bless this totem real quick. I saw Terrace when I was younger a few times. It was the worst. Really? Oh, this Freddy is so dumb, he didn't even see me. What a fucking turd stain. Titties. Like, were you still in school when you saw me or young? Like, I'm talk I didn't go see a therapist. I was like, I don't know. It was right before, it was pre-COVID, 2000 and whatever. And we're dead. I guess therapists probably went to like Zoom meetings, right? But that's probably not the same. What goes on there? Like what kind of questions do they go through mostly? I mean, I, that's all depends on why you're there. I mean, I don't think uh, your therapy journey is, is going to be individualized. It's not like a cookie cutter. Like this guy's got that. This guy's got this. And, you know, there's a bunch of things I went in for. Alcoholism. We talked about that. You know, and other stuff I ain't telling you all about because, you know, it's kind of personal. <clears throat> mm, yeah, but my ex-stepmom made you go. Oh, your ex-stepmom? Kalani, were you, uh, what did they call that? Were you um, acting out as a child? <laughs> You're probably one of them wild ones getting all kinds of ding-dong and crazy shit. They, thought, they probably thought you were going to be like 16 and pregnant on MTV. You know, they were worried about you. I have bidet therapy like twice a day. Let me tell you something. That's a refreshing-ass course. I feel ther therapized every time I get off the toilet. I feel cured every fucking time. I feel like a, like a, new, a new, new Scott every day. Well, all you had to say is stepmom. Like, you know, you probably didn't get along with your stepmom. And and that's the thing. When you're a child, you ain't got you don't have no say. It's whatever the parents fucking say you gotta go do. Is your dad still with your stepmom? <laughs> she cheated on him. You still talk to her today? You send her Christmas presents? You should end yourself and the school try to cover it up. What? He was retiring. Yeah, teachers should net. No one should ever tell you that in life. Except some troll in Twitch chat, then it's okay. <laughs> or or on your social media platform, then it's okay. I sent her a pie that I shit in. Don't you fucking lie. You did not. 
My stepmom was like two or three. She was more like your friend than Chris Sickles, right? Your dad was banging a young chick. Good for your dad. Is she still with him? My parents stayed together until my senior year of high school. And then they split up. Then I went fucking crazy. <laughs> then like once my mom was out of the house, I pretty much just did whatever the fuck I wanted. I'm kind of glad I don't have kids, man. <laughs> uh, so my baby brother and I have a 24-year-old different. Holy shit, really? He even had kids with her? What did she pass of? That's sad. That's young. Every time I go, like, visit my dad or whatever, there's this road. You don't have to take it, but there's, like, two ways to get there, right? But there's this road, and a lot of people have died on this fucking particular road. And, like, I hate going on it. That's all I think about. Like, is this going to be my last final ride? <laughs> so I usually don't take it unless I have to. Your dad likes younger women, huh? Good for him getting his ding dong wet. I would, I would, if I was a guy and I had, especially a daughter in my, and I was dating a girl that was the age of my daughter, I feel kind of weird. Like that'd be like me dating a 24 year old right now. 20 years difference. Like I, I you know, somebody on a 24 year old, I mean, they'd be, I'm sure they're fun as hell to bang and all that good stuff, but, uh, we're on a whole nother level of like intellect or you know, like, you know, whatever. My dad likes women. <laughs> what is it about the road that makes it so dangerous? Blind spots, speed hills. Well, it's a, uh, it's a tourist, like it's a main, like a main artery for the tourist season. And yeah, it's uh it's a one way street at 60 miles an hour or two way. So it's a, it's a, it's one way in one way out. And uh, it, it's gotten so bad that more than half, and until you hit the bridges, about half of it. I'm trying to fucking talk. More than half of it's got like they had to erect like um, safety barriers in the middle of the street so people stop crossing over, but not the bridges. Like I don't know if Kitty. you listen, motherfuckers. Oh my fucking god. Uh, you're fucking annoying, you're obnoxious, you are trash, shut the fuck up. Oh uh, yeah. Keep giving me $6.66 to tell me I'm trash, thank you. Anyways. Before I was rudely fucking interrupted. Um, do you guys know, if, do you guys remember a radio show not that long ago called The Don and Mike Show? It was based out of Washington, D.C. It was like, you know, it was it was Don, it was Mike, it was Rob, and uh, the other no. guy. But they were they were they were advertised all over the United States. Like they were syndicated everywhere. It was called the Don and Mike show. Does anybody ever remember listening to that? Like Don still has his own show. Now it's called the Rob and Mike show. But back in the day, you're not that long ago, it was the Don and Mike show. Anyone? Anyway, Don's wife died on that highway. Somebody crossed over in the lane of traffic while she was going down to the summer house in Ocean City and uh, killed her. Commit the type of man, type of my banana. What's he got? Ruin? A year and a half, not much in common, yeah. You think the age was the problem? But, uh, old man, I think since that, it's called Route 90. And since Route 90's been around, I think like, I forgot how many people died on it. It's quite a bit though. 
quite a, quite a few people have died on that road. I think it's like one of the most dangerous roads in Maryland. But half of it, half of it's got the uh, the divider in the middle, so you can't cross over until you hit the bridges. And then like the the more rural part of it doesn't have that yet. And uh, they have. Um, My dad used to travel that road every single day to go to work. That was about before they had any of the safety stuff. Mm -mm -mm. Was, I remember when she died, man. I remember the day he came, like three weeks after that, Don came on the radio for the radio show. And he had like, they had like a whole, it was just him. And he was doing like a, uh, a memoir of his wife and stuff and it was emotional because i i'd spent years listening to that radio show it was crazy sad now i think now he's in california remarried nowadays it ain't even about drunk drivers and shit more people die because of cell phones I'm more worried about motherfuckers. Listen, you can, oh my, like, have you ever gone down the highway, right? And you see this motherfucker, he's going slow or he's weaving a little bit. You know, you, you, I think to myself, this guy's on his fucking telephone. Then the, by the time you pull up to him, you look over, I'll be damned. They're on their fucking telephone all over the fucking street. Like I, I rarely touch my phone when I'm driving because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be safe like that. Just another town. A lot of people from Baltimore love going to the beach, man. Okay, Boomer. Listen, Ping. Uh, probably the number one the number one reason why people are dying on the highway is because people playing with their cell phones. I guarantee it. It's got to be the number one. And it's probably the number one caused by fucking far. Look away, my friend. Look away. That's why I didn't. That's why I stopped. Uh, I got rid of my motorcycle because I don't trust everybody else riding around. Makeup and reading. I guarantee you that's nowhere near the amount of people talking on their phone. I bet that makes up a very extreme small percentile. Like fucking tiny. I bet known I bet telephones are 95%. Can you imagine living in a small town and a university in it? Oh, I bet. Yeah, but a lot of times the universities, everybody lives really, really close to them. Not a lot of them got the cars. Fucking sold me out. Titties, no. Ah. Fuck, I stopped early. Well, that's game over. In our county, you can't talk on the phone in your car. It must be hands free. That doesn't stop people, Kalani. That does not stop people at all. Elon's brain chip will save us all. <laughs> uh, texting and driving is now, yeah. I feel like talking on the phone, Bluetooth and all that, I don't have a problem with that. It's just the texting and dicking with your phone while you're riding down the road. And you see it all the time. All the time. Self-driving cars. I think in about 20 years, it might be normal. Well, what do you know, chat? First time on the fucking hook. First one on the hook. Brand new air compression hose attached it as an extra tip for I charge it. That's nice, man. You do that on the side, Makuna Manjaro? You do detail work?
people on Route 50. People everywhere don't care. They can be downtown, wherever the fuck. They're on their telephone all the time. I tell you what, it's almost like 50% of the people you see driving down the highway are dicking with their phone. It's a lot of people dicking with their phones. Boomer. It's not more of a boomer. That's how a lot of young people are dying. Was that text message really worth it? Taking their business? God damn. I used to watch this uh, towing show, but it was based in Philly. And them guys would go at it. <laughs> See, growing up, like, growing up, we didn't have all the cell phones and all that shit. So it was more of, like Ping said, you know, motherfuckers dicking around, putting makeup on or eating or something like that. And that wasn't that common, you know. Most people just actually drove in those days, you know what I'm saying, just driving to and from where they had to go, whatever. But now they got all kinds of shit they, they can fuck with. MMR coming. <laughs> I think we got MMR. And like when I was growing up, it was real. Like drunk driving was the big thing. Mothers against drunk driving. Like nowadays, you don't even hear about mothers against drunk driving. Is there like mothers against cell phone usage while driving now? Because I'm sure mothers against drunk driving are still around. It's still a thing, but it's nothing like it used to be 20 years ago. Because you got to think, man, cell phone, like the average individual having a cell phone is only about 20 or so years old. Yeah, drunk drive is number two. But I bet it's pretty far behind cell phones. Oh, that's why they hate your ass because you're undercutting them. You ever woke up with uh, your tires flat? <laughs> Philadelphia, man, they'll, they'll take care of you. Right. Next thing you know, you're going to be living under the convention center. Did you go down there with us, Kilimanjaro? I don't think he was with us. Was he Kalani? I think it was just me, you, and Ed. What the hell were we doing? Were you there? Caulking? What the fuck's caulking? Up high well, it's up, been rat? hot minutes since I've caught a stream. Oh, go mess with those killers. We will. Thanks for hanging out, man. Appreciate you coming back. So, Yorkshire, he was caulking. What does caulking mean? He didn't eat dinner with us. I remember he was, he hung out in the convention center with us. Oh, finish the bathroom. You missed a good meal, man. We went to that little Italian joint, didn't we? I forgot the name of that place. I know it was an Italian joint, wasn't it? Of those Febreze plugins, man, they would be sued like crazy. I doubt that. I don't do them plug-in things. Yeah, I remember it was like, a, I don't remember what I ate, but it was, I thought it was an Italian place. Them motherfuckers are too busy applying different filters to their selfies. <laughs> so, Dr. Stowe, we're going, it's going good. Yeah, why did we even go under the building? Were we on our way to the, uh, we must have been on our way to the escape room. Was that the end of the night? Was, was the, was the, uh, was the end of the night the tunnel underneath the building? I wouldn't mind going back to Philly. I didn't have time to like take in this city. I was just there for the day. I even drove home that night. Yeah, I remember we had the Tesla was parked next to me. And you made fun of my fucking basic truck. Fuck you and your fucking Mercedes Benz. Keeping it real. <laughs> Atlantic City. Yo, fuck that place, man. 
Atlantic City is a shit hole. A capital S H I T. Shit hole. And scary. Like you stay on the main fucking drag, like the boardwalk. And when the sun goes down, do not leave the casinos. Do not leave the casino. Be home by the time the sun go down. That place is shady as fuck. That truck was not a piece of shit. I loved that truck. It was good. That piece of shit when he wrecked it was worth nine thousand dollars. Sixteen fucking years old. Titty. <laughs> Vaccinate. Touch this, David, baby girl. Here comes the zombie again. I'll take the zombie way. Y'all work on the generator. I got this. Come, come, come. This way, motherfucker. You want to touch me? You want to touch me? You want to touch me? Touchy, touchy. Just kidding. <laughs> we'll do it again. Oh, just kidding. Just kidding. One more time. Oh, you missed again. It's almost like you're blind or something. Slap the... Uh-oh. Here comes the rain again. Blowing out my butthole like memories. Is it raining with me? So, baby... Why am I burning my keys? I had no idea I'm burning purple keys right now. Just kidding. Dink -dun. I'm not taking the wind. Oh my God, what are you doing? He's insane in the membrane. That's some bullshit. Bella shitilla. Bullshit lala. Bullshit lala. Bowl of shit. I'm just kidding. Oh, whip me, daddy. I've been naughty. I'm a naughty boy. Oh, what you got? Tinker and How did I lose your fucking sound right there? Tinker and stinker. Oh, your little whip not long enough. Big boy. Uh-oh. Oh, big donkey punch. Okay, got me. Dab hard the zombie. <laughs> I ain't wasting my dab. I'm not running dab hard. Dab my dad like world you living in, Pump, poop, poopy. I might go throw a pizza in the oven. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. What do you think it's like to have sex with that zombie, chat? If the zombie, if it was just, if you were in a zombie apocalypse and you were the only living human that you even knew of, would you keep? Would you keep a zombie lady as a friend? You know what I'm saying? You know how they did back in the, with the governor in um, the living dead? The walking dead. They like took the bottom jaw out or whatever and took all the teeth out so they couldn't ever get bitten. You know they were banging in zombies, man. You know they were banging them. Yow! I just... Stupid David. The Living Dead was low-key a good-ass movie. I don't even remember. I don't, I don't even have seen that one. Hell nah. Do you think if you have sexual relations with a zombie, that that would turn you into a zombie? He'll never see this one here. I want to go see the black phone. Has anyone seen the black phone? That movie looked cool as shit. Ah. 
Has this guy three agendas? Like, I'm just trying to have something to talk about. Oh, man, I've heard pray with... I got... I saw the... I don't have Hulu, but I saw everybody was talking about it. And I saw the trailer. It looked really good. Oh, I saw this movie trailer on YouTube a couple days ago. It was called... Um, one of them was like Colin Farrell was like an Irish guy and his friend decided not to talk to him anymore or something. I don't know, but there was this other one that looked really, really good. I don't remember what it was about. Here comes the rain again. Okay, he's got Devour Hope. Very nice, very nice. Has anyone watched YouTube lately and seen like a trailer for a movie? God damn, what the hell was it? I'm trying to remember what it was about. Or who was in it. I guess I'll come back. Hell yeah. Blow that prime load and have a baby rat. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. I heard Prey was really good. Shut the fuck up, Kalani. Do I need to ban you? I'm trying to remember. I saw I saw a video of a of a movie. We'll never see the blood. And I forgot what the hell it's called. But it's not out yet. Oh, 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 it's um it's in the Korean War and the guys were like running air support for the ground troops. That and it comes out in November. That movie looked good. That movie looked good. I'll probably go watch that one. Job done. Yeah, fucker in the butt. Corn blind motherfucker! Corn blind motherfucker! Probably gets the more in me, doesn't he? I feel targeted because I have legacy on chat. Previews for Beast? Uh uh. It's really weird. I've recently had uh, movie trailers as commercials on YouTube. I usually don't get that. Usually I get this shit about the Rolo shipping thing. I think the last one was the Avatar Water trailer. Oh, I ain't seen that. Does that look good? Is the official Avatar Water trailer out? I think we should watch that. The Banshees of Inishiran. That's it. Vince, you can crossplay off. No, it's on. You know what's really weird, man? I'm telling you, like, I would sit here and stream and stuff. Like, we, the other day, like, about a couple weeks ago, we started talking about, um... Fuck, what was it? It was something very obscure. And it was, like, about... It was, like, about traveling or something. What the hell was it? I can't remember now. But whatever it was, when I was done and I, I finished stream, let the dog out, went to go like take a shit, I turned on my Twitter and started scrolling through. There were advertisements about the exact place we were talking about to go vacation or something. It was weird, man. They're always listening to fucking Alexa. You know what that is, man? That's literally the uh, who the kings, the kings of all that media are Google, like the, the AI and the um the the AI and the algorithms that fucking Google have are like extremely intelligent. 
Becky Nasty Day. What's up, brother? 44 months. Welcome back. Hope you've been good. Appreciate it. Ping, I literally didn't look at anything. I didn't search anything. We only talked about it in Twitch chat that day. I never did anything. And when I got on my phone and started looking uh, on Twitter, boom, it was in my feed. And you know what? Those algorithms are actually so smart. They know what you want before you know what you want. You know what I mean? That's how smart they are. Manscaped ads for two solid months straight. <laughs> what kind of gaming chair did you get? Did you get a racer, crystals? Bet your back hates you. Software engineer Google thought their AI was sentient. I bet it's really close to it. Like, I, I think they have probably the smartest software in the world. Especially when it's, like, boiled down to, like, um, figuring out buying habits of individuals and all that shit. That's all, that's exactly what it's designed to do. And they're really, really good at it. As for food. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I don't feel like the YouTube ads target me that much, though. It's cousin it. She's the shit. Bidet ads. I only got them very rarely on Twitch. Twitch does not have the ads figured out for individual stuff like that. Twitch ads are kind of like abroad overall like we're all experiencing the same exact ads on twitch like twitch doesn't even i don't even think they got a fucking algorithm at all i might have seen the teaser trailer but i think it comes out this christmas right so we should be getting a real trailer shortly i hate them racing chairs them racing chairs are fucking ass they don't like my back. My back don't like them. You guys think the AI will advance so much over the years it'll become sentient? Absolutely. They're already talking like it's getting that way now. They say uh, one of the biggest threats to our our uh, uh, humans is AI. Let me ask you a question. If they ever get that, would you ever get the, the chip implanted by Elon Musk? I will never have any fucking chip implanted in my body by any fucking body ever. Ever. I seen a dick tea ad yesterday. They don't even have dick tea. You won't have a choice one day. I'll probably be long and dead gone by that day. That's the mark. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think that will ever happen because religious people, if you put a brain, a chip or mark your body for like that, shit's called the mark of the beast. It ain't fucking happening. It'd be like Nazi all over again or uh, um, Adolf Hitler all over again. Donald Trump will sell the chip and Christians will eat it up. <laughs> uh, I ain't eating it up. Fuck that shit. I ain't putting no chip on me. But don't you know the good benefits of the chip, Vince? It could help determine how good you are and healthy. It could help this and that, whatever. I don't give an F. I think, I think that life is... Nobody life fucking is cares is about what life was. What life was. Titties. <laughs> What do you mean, not in our lifetime? What, brain chips and all that? You're going to see that shit. Self-driving cars. That's all AI, bro. Dude, the AI of vehicles right now is extremely intelligent. Like, very smart. And Tesla's cars are really smart. But all, all the companies got it now. Dude, my fucking car is smart as shit. I didn't know that bitch was right behind me. 
I need to find totem. Don't you know you gotta bless the totem? Hey, hey, bless the totem. Well, you know. Do you believe it are chips in the COVID vaccines? Hell no. I haven't been in stream for a minute. What's up, Apple? I'm good. How are you? I remember your name. What if the chip made your wiener bigger? I mean, no, I'd have to think about that. Now, how big are we talking? How big are we talking? Twelve inches big? Well, most women don't want to be sucking on no twelve inch dick. Double size? Inject me right now. Inject me right now. I'm ready for it. Don't scream me. Don't do nothing. Just put it. I'm ready. Just put the fucking chip in me right now. Chip me, daddy. Chip me, daddy. Oh, you almost fucked up my shit. Scary little bitch. I mean, yeah, yeah, you know, I, I would have to chip then. Get a bigger dick size. Mm -hmm. Ladies, is it true, like, you don't want a dick like that, like, like, like the, the big 12 inch porn dicks we see all the time? They look like they eat it up, but I heard most women don't want that shit. Ladies want three inch dicks. That's what I tell myself when I fall asleep at night. Well, I'm gonna tell you what, I should be getting laid a lot. Subscription services for your chip. Do what? I just hear the yellow glyph again. Am I st Wait, I got this key. Do well, I have the key in my hand? I need to take the goddamn key off. Oh, did I just run out of purple keys? What the fuck? Yeah, girth. The ladies want the girth. They want it stretched out, not deep in. <laughs> Stretch me out. Or did she have Franklin's? I didn't see Franklin's come up there, though. Burn these purple keys, man. I didn't, I didn't mean it. I just feel like I picked one up. I got 27 of them. We're good. Three inches long and eight inches wide. I guess so. Like a tuna can. What's up, side wipes? Turbo chode. In my next life, I want my cock to be like a ski lift. You know, like a ski jump. I heard they like that too. They don't like their cervix rearranged. <laughs> I prefer to rail the cervix. My wife, not so much. Yeah, no doubt. The cervix is kind of uh, gentle down there. You gotta be careful. If my penis is square, will it fit in a round hole? Only one way to find out. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's for the G spot, Kalana. You'll like it too. If if Ed, you woke up one day and he had like a fucking cane as a dick. <laughs> Be tickling it all up in there. You like it? Okay. 
before we go out, can I see your cervix size? Does your leg hurt your body? You ain't putting no weight on it. See? outside because so you won't go out you won't go out you'll let them out I'm here. I got shit on my head. Back in the saddle again. I had to go urinate, let the dog out, put some fresh water outside for him. Hopefully he stays out there for a while. We'll see what the uh, vet says. He's taking a shit. <laughs> I am not pooping. Rub me, rub me. I got, he's on pain meds right now. I'm not sure how strong they are though. But they ain't doing shit. All right, let me go gen rush now. There's a pole there, Lori. Be careful. <laughs> There's a pole there. Bless it. Code brown. <laughs> Is that what you call taking a shit, Pete? Code brown? <laughs> uh, look at the sub wall in chat today, chat. Look at that. All those subscribers. Thank you, everyone. You guys are awesome. All those little set clients. She's not a VIP anymore. We gotta take that off of her. Wait, looks like some Remedil will help us back. What's is that over the counter dog shit? He's probably gonna get that next Monday. Girlfriend has code red every month, man. She likes that Mountain Dew flavor. 
I like it too. It's pretty good. Actually, I don't like that flavor. Code red! Code red! I have code brown about twice a day. Then we get, then after the code browns, code, code, squirt, squirt. You know what I'm saying? Squirt code. This motherfucker's killing himself on the hook over here. Tastes like iron and liver. You get turned on from pooping? No, I don't. What if you shit your pants? What's your code for that? Kalani, I don't have your fucking problems. I don't shit my pants. I don't remember the last, last time I shit my pants. It was like kindergarten. After poo, it's called the it's the bidet squirt, dummy. It's not the other squirt. Take Lizness. What's that? Listen, I don't have a going problem, okay? I go quite a bit. I'm pretty regular. Pretty regular. Man, if I wasn't AFK at the beginning of this round, this round would already be over. Because this hunter's just shitting all over these nerds. Klein's like a walking drugstore. Makes my code browns less frequent, which is welcome because Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, what's up, Clip? Yeah, Kalani, why don't you just start wearing Depends? Bitch. Fucking turd stain. Is anybody going to save this girl or what? Mama me business now. Bunny mama me business now. Oh shit. You fucking idiot. I can't wear tight jeans. It's because you can't find any jeans that fit your ass. Kalani, I bet you wear them stretch denim, don't you? You look like a stretch denim kind of woman. That's what us fat people like. Stretch denim. Didn't hear a plot of my message. I don't remember what you said now. I danced a while ago. I love stretch denim. It's fucking awesome. First time on the fucking up. Come on, baby. Damn, we're dead. Meg's gonna get caught. I guarantee it. If I wear tight jeans, my dick will be uncomfortable. I can't wear tight clothes, man. Like, I like having, like, loose... My, I wear my... I, my panties are super loose, too. I don't like my shit being, like, you know... 
know what I'm saying. It might be small, but it likes to breathe, all right? I wear boxer briefs, man. I love boxer briefs. I used to wear cowboy tighty, cowboy tight Wrangler jeans. Fuck that. I've uh, I've always worn baggy clothes. Always. Growing up, no nine yards. Let's play Ghost Stick. I haven't played him in a while. Well, shit, we haven't played him since... Uh, I had a mag grit thing. What's he got? Pain without love. Where's Dead Man Switch? We'll do that. Pain Resonance, Dead Man Switch, and Sloppy Hole. Sloppy Hole. Sloppy, sloppy Hole. Grew up in Texas. Yeah, it's probably common down there. You can't, you can't see their giblets. Mine are always visible when I use tight pants. Or maybe you got big dick then. Did you see it, Vince? See what? First time home buyer suggestion. Looking to get one in a year or two. Best advice, 5%, 10%. Um, I think I think in order to like I don't quote me if I'm correct. If you put down 20% on your house, then I don't think you're required to have PMI. Which PMI is like personal mortgage insurance or something like that. So basically, you have to take an insurance policy out against yourself. So if you're default on the loan, the bank gets their money. So if you're in this, if you're in this situation, you definitely want to put at least 20% down. Because PMI can be like a hundred bucks a month or more. Right? Does anybody know what they're paying on PMI right now? I have PMI on my my. The th when I bought this house at 30 years, when I refinanced with 15, I think I had enough equity in it that I didn't have to PMI anymore. Oh, you want fixed rate, man. Your payments would have doubled. I can't remember what my PMI was, but it was it was I had to pay it when I first got my house. But once I had 20% equity, when I refinanced, I didn't like borrow extra money. I just refinanced what I owed on the house. I'm pretty sure PMI went away, and that's why my mortgage payment actually went down pretty pretty good. Well, Jake, I remember, man, a hundred dollars for the life of the uh, for the life of the loaner to your refinance and have equity in your house. It's actually, if you took that hundred dollars and invested it every month instead of paying the bank insurance, so you don't default on your loan. It depends how you look at it. A hundred dollars, it might not sound like shit, but over the over 20, 30 years, it's a lot of money. Compound interest is your friend. Open up broker's account. Stick that money in there. Hundred dollars. If you did that every month, you'd be rich when you're tired. If you're young. Well, it's ridiculous to buy a house right now. Plus, interest rates are starting to creep up too. Like I didn't like. What's the interest rate on a thirty-year mortgage? Is it five percent again? How often would you refinance as a FTHB? First time home buyer? I mean, it just all depends. A lot of people make the mistake. Well, I'm going to call it a mistake. My personal opinion is a mistake. A lot of people, like, they end up refinancing their house quite a bit, especially if the interest rates go down. Uh, and they end up, like, putting their car in there or, like, paying their car off or their credit cards and all that. That Like, in my, like, in my personal opinion, that's bad business. Like, I wouldn't do that. Mm -mm. Did you see the leaks? I did not see the leaks. 
All I know is the power is what I saw on the uh, behavior stream the other day. One more pallet. One more pallet. Oh, they fucking went upstairs. Thank you for wasting the pallet. <laughs> I got smart nothing to get stuck there. There's two of them. Watch out for that metal pole there, honey. Thank you. Pallet number two. Let's keep count, chat. Second pallet down. Second pallet down. Was there another one over there? Oh, this got fucked. Oh. Nope. God damn it. I'm not gonna get this guy. Number three! Carnage with some Twitch Prime love. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thanks for 25 months, brother. Welcome back. Still marked. Oh, we got him. We got him. I find it hard to get people down if you mark them as ghost dick. Go stick me up inside. Oh, white hook, best hook. God damn it, I got a gen done. Oh, come on, I got behind the thing. Thick Jane swelling up my membrane. Getting swole. Nice and swole. What the fuck? I didn't think this was going to go this way. Now you fucked up. Lost this round. Too many pallets. <laughs> Fucking Dwight. Got dab hard. No dab hard. Is there a white hook near here? White hook, bass hook, white hook. Oh, they're all fucking downstairs. I should be able to get them this one. How many pounds so far, chat? Three? Tree? I think she's done the steps. I'm terrible at sneaking up on people with this nerd. What's up, baby? Not that thick ass girl. What's up on you? Mm, we're gonna wear these white hooks out, boys. Wear it out! Wear it out, like wear that ass out! Poppy Vince, wear my ass out. Oh, Poppy. 
You. I think Dwight's still around here. It's a big negative. more pallet one more pallet one more pallet one more pallet and all these fuckers are saving all the pallets save the pallet save the pallet dab hard nope got white hook right here just for you baby girl right there the white hook what you doing shit stain one more pallet one more pallet! Uh. I wonder if he's gonna come around this way. So lucky. Well, that's the white. That was a fucking pallet here. One more pallet. One more pallet! One more, 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 one more pallet! One more pallet! Give me another pallet! You won't! I want more pallets! Dwight, he's dead on the hook, isn't he? Ah! <clears throat> One more pallet! Suck me off. I got you now, little piece of shit. What you gonna do now, big boy? Big boy! Big boy! White hook, best hook. I don't think he's dead on the hook yet, though. That's first time been on the hook. I did not mean to mark her. Jane's dead on the hook. She's running where all the pallets are, though, unfortunately. So we're not going to chase here.
This is Yui. She's still marked. She can't get to a pallet. She's fucking dead. There's no pallet over here. There is a pallet over here. She's fucking brave, man. Yeah, you, you fucked that all up. Thank you for being dumb. <laughs> Thank you for being so dumb. Traveling the road and back again. Heart is something. You're a confer, a confidant. Thank you for being a dumbass friend. White hook, best hook. Am I singing the Golden Girls right now? What the fuck are they all doing? Friend in a confidant. Thank you for sucking my dick. Who are they? Spread your white chocolate all over my buns, Daddy. Oh, I will. You'll like it too. A bit orgasmic. <laughs> so th Thanks for 18 months. Welcome back. Welcome back, Chuck. I guess we have to kill this one on the white hook, best hook, chat. We're going to take her to this other one over here, though. Someone's on that gen right there. This one. Oh, she ain't fucking dead. Well, somebody was on this one. This have been the Yui. Me and you and Yui and me. You fucked. Don't get to a window! Is she on her death hook? I don't even know if she's on her death hook. Let's take her to the one that's not near the gens, though. <laughs> Why are they yelling out again? I thought, is that a bug now? Or is that like a dead man switch thing? Oh, we're fucking, Jane. We are fucking hard. That's not a safe pallet, big dummy. Yo, Jake Vile hooking up Nick Cavender. Thank you, Jake, for the gift sub. Welcome in, Nick. Suck a fat dick. Just because it rhymes, that's all. Who Chuck, 18 months. You now are part of the Dirty Diaper Sub Badge Club. Welcome in, my friend. Wear that diaper with honor and pride. A pride diaper. The good part here is, as long as he, like, looks at me, I'll know where he's at. I'm pretty sure he was just downstairs. I thought I heard his footsteps. Ugh, these doors are terrible. So if he even looks at me, I'm, I'm going to know where he's at. That's a good thing about playing Ghostface. It's not easy yet. They can easily get out of here.
I was wrong. Come on, Felix. Fuck up and look at me. Fuck up and look at me! Hello, I'm in a fog whisperer. Only since the beginning. I was one of the original 50s. It's gotta be at this door. I think he's just taking it for the team. There was 10, um, 10 original Fog Whispers for, I don't know, a few months, and then they added 40 more. I was the second 40. Everybody's got this misconception about this Fog Whispers, like, unless everybody goes to Fog Whispers streams and, you know, they just suck behavior ding dong all day long, I don't know. I mean, I'm not really sucking on it. You know, I tell you, I mean, if, if I have, if there's things I don't like in the game, I'm going to tell you the things I don't like in the game. If there's things that I do enjoy in the game, I'm telling you the things I enjoy in the game. Like, I, I kind of, I'm, I'm a straight shooter like that. I'm always going to speak my mind. You just can't, you know, you just can't be physically, like, uh, attacking other Fog Whispers or the per devs personally, you know? I would say I'm probably one of the, most outspoken negatively of the fog whispers if that makes sense anyways chat give it out a free gift sub for that 4k anybody matching we're here to spread cock on spread cock sunday spread the cock halls faller getting the cock enjoy your cock Enjoy your cock. Do y'all want to do a, um... We call this the, uh... Seeing the build. Where's the hatchet that, uh... Or for five seconds. Or reveals. Oh, fucking Nick is matching that gift sub. Thanks, Nick, for... Get to the king of nothing. Thor with a five bomb. Chocolate buns and this gifts all around. Thank you very much for the five. Get to Thor. Welcome in, new nerds. Y'all spread your cock. Spread the cock. Continually spreading cock. Yesterday, we spread a lot of cock. <laughs> Lumi, thank you for getting this. Uh, welcome in, gaming. Yesterday was cock spreading supreme. It was like a pizza. Speaking of pizza, let me go turn the oven on. Dave's gonna match that gift sub too. Thanks, brother. Butthole princess. I think you just found your favorite stream. I'm pretty sure that's why you're here. I, I, your name gives it away. Butthole princess. Chat, we are almost back at 1,200 subs. What the fuck are you all doing with your lives right now? Thank you. We've had an incredible weekend. Thank you all for participating. Spreading cock. The joy of the cock. Supporting the stream. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. You look at the link yet. God damn it, Kalani. I'm trying to entertain nerds, not just be here for you. <sighs> the teaser trailer. What is this fucking link? Look at this link, chat. This is the link Kalani sent me. God damn it, that's not it.
why did I do that and not? I, I copy pasted. it. Maybe it's because of the message. I don't know. Fuck it. It's ridiculous. Thor hooking up. Embarrassing. Thank you. Wait, embarrassing. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's a smart play on words. Thanks, Thor. I appreciate it, buddy. We get a lot of gift subs too. Thank you. Got a ramp and everything. What the fuck? Getting a dog in and out of the car is gonna be a nightmare. Pet Rover Titan HD Supreme Super Size Dog. That sounds expensive. Four hundred dollars. Got an AFK or four hundred dollars is expensive in my world. When does guy still AFK? Oh shit, he moved. Found him. <laughs> we found him. You dab hard me. Don't you fucking do it. Wait, is there a white hook? Oh, there is. Hold on. This is not a good aura reading map, is it? They're up there. Reload! No one near a damn thing at all. Somebody just flagged your head. Damn it. I knew somebody was going to come around that corner. Were you on this generator, fuck face? He certainly was. They're going to gen rush the shit out of me, chat. Like, this game's going to be over super fast. I don't have anything to counter gen speed. that below me? It's in that room. Oh, come the fuck on. Fuck off! Oh, you are dumb. I like you. Reload! <laughs> See, chat? I ain't got two of them hooked yet. What's the best time of day to fap? Any fucking time. Anytime you feel horny, just, just get in your hand. Damn it. He's not in a fucking chase. I fucking hate this game. Now what, you piece of shit? Mm. 
all day or day. Yeah. Yeah. You wearing out this hook over here. See, gearhead just operated. I don't know where it was at though. Reload. It's up there, I think. There it is. It is up there. It's gonna be done by the time I get up there. I told you. Double healing that guy too, motherfuckers. <laughs> it's just because I'm not I'm not running any perks to slow gens down, so it's like you can't really do nothing. If you don't down them really quickly, and the thing is about this map, it's not good for long throws. I don't have any bounties tonight, no. I'm bored of this round. I can't get nothing fucking done, man. What the fuck? He pushed me away from the door. Did you see that? Yeah, here, call that. I want call that. Oh, my fucking God. Come the fuck on. Lucky. It's not because she's good, chat. I had a feeling she had adrenaline too. Oh, I'm not hatchets. Let's go open the door. Call it a day. I think that's why she was standing there not on the generator, is because she knew she had adrenaline. Whoa! Game over. I would have been okay if we had uh, gen regression perks, but. If you ain't doing nothing to stop Jen's done, you get a group like that, it's pretty much game over. This is my aura, my aura reading Huntress build. I think we've done it four times. I might have like killed them all one time with this build, but I think it was a corn map. It's okay, chat. You don't get them all the time. No big deal. I think it's fun to run, you know, sometimes different builds than the old uh, overcharged brine build. You know what I mean? <laughs> I guarantee if I switched this build to a, a, a generator focus build, I'd fucking shit on them all the time. Well, but Sex Myers is back now. That's not what I wanted. All right, chat, let's do something fun and interactive. Are you ready? It's called Blowing Blood Points. Who's fucking excited? Who's excited? Yeah. Woo! Hell, hell yeah. Woo! More blood points. Yeah. Woo! Let's go. You gonna fucking blow a load on pyramid dick? What you got? I never played it. I hate this. Ki this killer is fucking asshole. Ugh. I don't want to think about that killer. I got add-ons for all my killers for like days. 
the doctor, the pig, the clown. Let's do another clown. I like clown. More bleach. More bleach. Son of a bleach. Oh, we couldn't prestige this guy yet because um, he was turned off. Macho, you played Dink Come is fun. Have you bought it yet, Tim? That game is awesome. But you're a console gamer, right? Thor hooking up the mirror. Thanks for the gifty, man. Womp, 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 womp. We won't hold that against you, Tim. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, we're not blowing up too many blood points. This is the most boring shit in the fucking world. Don't you guys agree? And this process takes way too fucking long. Plus, now it's even worse because they redid the blood web system. Now you go back to zero, which is terrible. All I want is bleaches. That's all I want. Hender clown, best clown. It's your favorite part. Man, it makes me want to go to bed. Man, 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 man. I, you know, it wasn't that bad when all the blood webs were level 50. But now you gotta scroll through all this fucking tiny shit and then that's the fucking, then that's the like, go like this part right here. Vince, do you ever stop bitching? No, I don't. Shut, I don't care. Ba ba da ba ba da ba da ba. Here's what he should do. If I click on this, boom, instantly done. None of this shit right here. Like it draw on the line. Nah, -nah I just click on it and give it to me. Vink gonna give it to you. He gonna give it to you. Vink gonna give it to you. He gonna give it to you. Oh, I saw on Twitter that another rounds of DCMA has been going around Twitch. And now they're DCMAing uh, live. Should be careful. I don't think I've seen anybody get banned for it though. Look, give me just like 20 bleachers on one web. I don't think they're ever going to update spending blood points anymore. That's probably so far low on their priority list. Dang. My clown's got a shit ton of add-ons, but I don't ever use any of them. I feel like if you're not using Hinder Clown, you're kind of just, you know, are you really playing the clown? All right, I'm fucking bored. That's enough. 76 bleaches. What else is good? We got 84 pinky fingers. I didn't get any fucking iridescence. I got a couple of uh, mories. See, so we'll take it off and we'll run hindered at two extra bottles 
an increase in invigoration while the clown or the survivor is invigorated that's the yellow shit right is invigorated the yellow shit <coughs> inflicts mangle forever Damn. The size and the spread. I kind of want to do this mangled. Blindness. Party bottles emit confetti. <laughs> uh, Throwdowns. Oh, that's changes the porn. Yup, 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 yup. I don't want invigorated. Invig I want the other one. Let's do this one. Intoxication inflicts mangle. That sounds like it's going to be fun. Putting the F you in fun. That's what we like to do here at Dead by Daylight. I suck your finger, then suck your dick. I'm going to suck your finger. Suck your sucky. Remember, remember, Santa Clown child, I'ma suck your fucking finger. Merry Christmas, let me suck your finger. You already run sloppy. That's a great point. All right, we're going to increase the intoxication by one second. I like the hinder clown. I think the hinder clown is the best clown. Mouse. Oh. It's the advanced ergonomic mousing technology of the future, a.k.a. the butt plug beauty. Get on my level. Hindered in the extra second add-on. Oh, that's dirty. Look at this meme stir with her little Christmas outfit on. Lord Nubby. I think we're good. Six bottles with extra second. I got gnats in the house for some fucking reason, man. You should see, I put, I put like a vinegar water, soap dish water, and something else out on the counter. And I bet I caught like a hundred and bitches in there. I don't know where they all come from. Never going back. Yeah, the vertical mouse is awesome. There's, this is the new one too. Coochie muscle. I like that. <laughs> I like the coochie muscle a lot. We're everywhere, man. I don't know where I got them all. That's what I did. Apple cider vinegar, water, uh, and sugar. They put, put a little sugar in there, too. I found a new mice. I'm called Aces, Rog, Sparth, the X. Looks sexy. What? That sounds like you're buying a car. Any new killers? Nah, they haven't come out new killers in a long time, man. When's the last time you saw Dead by Daylight?
clown's a pretty new killer. You ever seen the clown before? Vince Man, is there any new content for this game? Nah, not really. No new content. Mm, I'd say they should get away with the map offerings, but I still get bad maps. <laughs> I wouldn't be I would be okay with them getting rid of map offerings. I never burn I it's really rare I burn offerings. Ugh. Did you get to see them college girls naked, Jake? <laughs> New Resident Evil DLC. Yeah, that's next. Homelander and uh, the Wong girl. Homelander and Wong. All right, they're going to get a gen done right out the gate, but that's all right. <laughs> Let's go open this fucker up while we're here. This map sucks. They're definitely one of these three gens. Probably this one. I might throw that down. It didn't throw it down. Man, we really, we really need fucking hindered. Get it twisted, son. <laughs> I like this guy. Come on. <laughs> she got dab harder. Blink, blonk. <laughs> One's got a flashlight, but I think it's Quentin. He's injured. He's fucking around over here. There go the gens, boys. Pop it off. I'm a barista. They need to make a walkway between these fucking, these things here. That's what makes this map asshole. Well, he's fucking healed up now. Right on the knob. I feel like I need to be playing Hinder Clown right now. They're doing that generator before they unhook her. Did you see that? The spray. Let's tunnel Nia. Our tunneling's fun. I know it sucks. You'll be okay. You're a big girl. You take big girl poops. Uh oh. me in my butthole. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 
in the noggin! Right in the noggin! Right in the noggin! The noggin! Oots noggin! I'm a barista, clown, and I'm a best and I'm all. Yeah, getting a squirt. Squirt me, daddy. So apparently they have one guy doing generators. Barista! Bink, boink. They all healed up. Close to this hook. Gotcha. Oh, you motherfucker. Got your sorry ass now. See, look, it, 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 it pays the camp and tunnel, chat. See? I didn't tunnel her last time. She just unfortunately, I saw her in the end. In the end! Good, they're all gonna be on the same side of the map now, which is good. Did you just go in the fucking basement? Take me to your little friends. If I down, if I go for her, they're gonna get an agenda done, but that's okay. Just throw all the bottles. Throw all the bottles. <sighs> hey man, you gotta get the nerds. See, I told you, if I fuck with her, they're gonna get a gen done. I'm a barista. There's Felix, urbanly evading. And luckily, there's no pallet over here. All right, where did this urban evading asshole go? What? What? Well, I bet the uh, Quinton's on this gen. Nope. Negative. Sprint for sweet daddy. Just enough. Just enough, asshole. Oh, don't blind me. I won't be able to hear you. Game over. They're gonna get the last gen done. I'm dicking with this fucking nerd. Oh, don't do that. I won't be able to track you. If you do that, I won't be able to track you. If you blind me, I won't be able to track you. Please don't do that. It's important to get that blind in and die. 
They're definitely on the gym back here, though. I'm a barista. I'm a barista. She like ran, ran. No, she's right here. Where's that bottle going? <laughs> come here, big dummy. Oh, come here, stupid. It'll be okay. <laughs> Balista! Balista! Look at this motherfucker over here. <laughs> and you fucked up your sprint burst, dummy. Dink doink. Shh. Swing. They're both over here. This guy hasn't been on the hook yet. Quentin was over here because the, the birds were fucking clapping before this guy got over here. Clapping cheeks. Bagrista. Bagrista. I think Quentin's back here. First time this nerd's been on the hook, too. Dude, this ten percent whatever the fuck is not even worth it, is it? It's horrible. I thought that fucking the pallet was gone. Blinka blonka blinka blonk blonk. I never use yellow ones. I used them there just because you know I got six of them. We get around the map faster. They're, they're, they're like, they're pretty bad. I think they should give them more movement. What's up, Tsunami? Oh, this guy's fucked. I think you should give him like 20% movement speed. Like this is barely, it's noticeable, but it's not that fast. It's like a little faster than Noed, right? This guy's Mr. Urban Evasion. Urban Evasion. Urban Evading. Uh-oh. He doesn't know his 4K Sunday chat. On a Saturday, I let you go, bro. 
But when it's 4K Sunday, get subs on the line. We got to spread that cock. Spread it. All right, chat, 4K Sunday, getting out free gift subs for every 4K. Anybody matching, spreading the cock, spreading the cock. Vince, I'll spread the cock. Don't forget, chat, today we're going to be giving away a copy of Hooked on You. It's our last copy to give away, and somebody is going to win today. Somebody going to win today. Yo, Thor is fucking watching it. Look at that Lucas getting a fucking gift sub, motherfucker. Spread that cock, Lucas. Thank you, Thor, for the gift sub. Chipman, welcome in. I'm still on the yellow glyph. That's a survivor glyph, isn't it? No wonder I'm not getting him as a killer. <laughs> Oh, let's go with my healing build. Ooh. I need to come up with a third build. I might just make a meme build with like, you know, throwing that chunk in that rock, deception. Have I played hooked on you yet? No. I do have it. I think most people are done playing it already, right? Titties. Hey, Anya, you want to see a clip I made earlier? Yeah, everybody's pretty done. Kenzie's playing it today. He rated us. Oh shit, I lost it. Hold on, let me get my history. Recently closed. Anya Twitch. Is this the is this it? This ain't it. Hold on. I thought that was it. It can I I can go to my clips and see what what I've clipped lately, right? You know how it works. Wait, let me go to my clips. Uh, what under content clips? Okay, what I've clipped. Here, this is what I clipped earlier today. Jake, you do a lot of clips of her. It's fucking, it's not there. I think you deleted it. Did you delete it? No. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is the clip. This is the clip. I was lurking today. Every time I come in, it's like, you know, you have a sixth sense when I, when I come into your stream and you two handed every time I'm in there, I clip that. That's my clip. Red Bull be packing. <laughs> you need to stop playing music and get DCMA. I'm going to kick you right off the platform. That was seven seconds of two-handed dick sucking chat. You know they're live striking now, so you have to be careful. And even though you delete the VOD, it's still in the servers and they can get them. Yay, it's full map wraith. Yeah, I was reading it. Apparently, it's had a big wave of DC Mage just go out this past week.
Did you call him DC, DMCA Sunday? Because if you know where to look, even though you delete your VOD, they're still on the Amazon servers and they're public. Jake, you don't want her. She don't shower regularly. And she, she tastes like cigarettes. <laughs> Do you want your woman to taste like cigarettes, man? Come on. Come in. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! You wanna fuck? I wanna fuck. I'm gonna get you for your struggle state. Where did DCMA all did is redirected out of the VOD. What do you mean? Your VODs are always there. Even if you delete them off your channel, they're on the server and they, they look through all that shit too. Clips, VODs, the whole nine yards. In other words, you're better off not to fuck with it. Or just do whatever you want. Cigarettes and Red Bull. Ugh. Out of my way, Stephen. 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 Can't stop greatness. You cannot stop. You can derail greatness. You can't stop. It. Can't stop. It. Can't stop. Won't stop. Yeah, but I set it in a way. Yeah, you can do that. There's ways. You, there's a. You can set up a separate audio channel in OBS. But they're live striking. So even though they have software that can go through all of Twitch while you're live. And it's going to get more and more sophisticated, so I would just be careful. I don't... That's why I got rid of all that shit, because it's not worth losing my channel over. This is what I do for a living, and I'm halfway decent at it. And I want to keep doing it for a living, if y'all keep coming. Didn't come. So as long as y'all don't become din comes, we're good. Just keep come. I'm going to make a new game. More come. Said dink them. Be Morkum. <laughs> Morkum. It's not about having fun, it's about laws. I have a lot of fun without music. That's not a problem. Morkum. Exactly. He's got Dinkum. I'll get Morkum. That sounds like a good trade off, doesn't it? I mean, it's about money and the laws. The laws are what they are. The laws, will, the laws will probably never change. I don't. I honestly don't have an issue with it. Motherfuckers that make stuff and own the rights to it, they should be getting paid. I don't have an issue with that. Just because I want to play music or whatever, like whatever. Get paid, get rich, I don't care. I've never revolved my stream that much around music. Like, I've never played. We've really never really played music. The only time I actually, actually really played music was maybe during truck driving sims, and that's it. It's the only time I actually just put the music on and played. I want to know why there's an 82 year old woman in the motherfucking uh, why there's an 82 year old woman in the motherfucking house or whatever the hell's uh, running the show. 82 years old. Like, give it the fuck up. Move on. Don't you want to retire and enjoy life? Or do you think people like that chat are just like stuck on power? They just want the power all the time. They don't want to give it up. Oh, don't you tell me you're gonna fuck me in the window. Fuck me in the window. Fuck me in the window. I think if you're 82 years old and you're still in the Senate and all that shit, 
you, you are high on, I think you're just addicted to the power. And you, you don't want to let it go. Stirring the pot with China. <laughs> That's all she's doing. Stirring the motherfucking pot. Oh, we're in a recession? <laughs> Let's go to war. That'll get ba things banging. That's true. Everybody gets addicted to power, I think. And yes, every politician is in someone's pocket. There's no, there's no one out there that does anything on their own. It's all special interests and money. Money, 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 money. As a person without power. Dude, you know what streamers? I, I know streamers have been like addicted to their influence. Because uh, streamers are streamers get a lot of influence. That's why we're called influencers. And they get addicted to their influence. I, I've seen it. I've seen. I've seen some fucking shit. No. Okay, I faked myself. Legalize weed. <laughs> Do you think they'll ever legalize weed on a federal level? Because it's pretty legal in a lot of states now. Do you think it'll ever be a federal thing? Do you think it's going to be as the older generations die out and the younger generations get up there? I'm fucking lost. Yeah, get her. Put it in her ass. Put it in her ass. Come on, Ace. You put it in his ass, too. Yeah, fuck him. Fuck him. Steven, we're going to need you, big boy. Steven. Steven. Steven, we need you. Steven. Steven. Look at that teamwork. We better we better highlight this video because this never gonna happen again. <laughs> Steven Steven puts the S in teamworks. Oh, I don't think even, I honestly don't think that guy wanted to kill me. I think he's gonna fuck around. Finish repairing two gens and one I'll tell you what, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I am the gen bitch. It wasn't for me. Half my lobbies wouldn't even escape. I die, but they escape. Yeah, when they learn how to tax the shit out of it. Oh, they will. You think cigarettes are fucking taxed? Wait till marijuana becomes legal. Dude, if, if like, how do you think you'll buy marijuana? Like, by the, like, if the government, like, says, okay, we're going to legalize it. Do you think they're going to sell it by the ounce? Because the government's going to be like, yo, that's like a $10 an ounce tax. Do you know how much fucking money... Tax revenue would be on marijuana. It would be absolutely insane. I don't understand why I don't just do it now. You know how much money that would raise to the government? That means they could just print more. <laughs> uh, do you think you'll have like like um, weed cigarettes? You could buy like a 20 pack of cigarettes with weed in it. Like blunts. They have not made a test to determine if you're currently under its influence. Oh, uh, maybe. They would make a tonny, ton of money. 
Oh, the tobacco tax ain't nothing compared to what marijuana would be. And tobacco tax right now is off the charts. I would, I, you know, I wonder what like a, a, a store pays for a pack of cigarettes without the tax and everything. You know, like what is the base cost of a pack of cigarettes? And then like to buy a normal pack of cigarettes where I live is at least $10. $10. That is what? Is that 50 cents a cigarette? That's 50 cents a smoke. It doesn't sound like a lot, but I mean, when you smoke a pack a day, that's $300 a month. That, you know, to give you emphysema and lung cancer. It's crazy. Oh, the U.S. don't want to get out of debt. That debt is all bullshit. It ain't really debt. The minimum percentage markup on the wholesale price of cigarettes ranges from 2% to page 3 cigarette minimum price laws, 36.5%, while the minimum percentage markup on the retail price of cigarettes ranges from 6% to 25%. Do you do you think the packs of cig do you think the manufacturers just pay tax right out the door for every cigarette sold? And it's built into the price of it? I don't know how it works. Thanks for throwing a bit charger. Isn't there at least a 40% markup? Pretty much 50, yeah. Even though I may become it may become legal nationwide, employers can still dictate clean employees. I don't have a problem with that either. Well, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, if we was legalized and your employer says you can't do it if you, you can fail a drug test, I could understand they don't want you coming out of work or getting high during work, but like, Weekends or after hours, you should be able to get high if you want to. Motherfucker. <sighs> this uh, this sounds like this uh, this reminds me of fun right now. Cousin it, you a shit. That cousin it. I've never smoked marijuana, so I don't know what the big deal is about it. Like, I ain't never been high. Almost. Fuck that up. I gotta get rid of this goddamn videotape. Oh my God, she's a maniac. Maniac, maniac on the lower. Go figure something out. It'd be like alcohol. Oh, definitely. Drugs are for losers. <laughs> I don't do drugs. I have a very addictive personality, so I think if I uh, if I started doing marijuana, I would I would definitely go get something harder, and eventually I'm gonna be sucking dick for a crack pipe hit, you know. And Vincent Vega does not want to be sucking dick for the crack pipe. I'm drawing the line right there. Drawing the line, ah! bitch. I'm trying to insert my videotape. Ho bag. I just want to suck dick. I mean, well, good for you. I want to have my dick suck. If you want to suck my dick for a crack pipe hit, I can get you a crack pipe hit. Everything in your twenties. <laughs> I never did anything, man. Like I, I like 
And you know what the other thing is too? I, I never hung out with people that I know. Like one of my really good friends did a little drugs and shit, but I didn't hang out with him while he was with those people he did drugs with. You know what I'm saying? We would just hang out and do whatever. But I, I never associated with his drug druggy friends. There's no way in hell I wanted to hang out and do anything like that. I didn't want to be around it. Another dude sucking your dick, don't that make you gay? What if I close my eyes? How'd you, it could be a girl that wants the crack pipe hit. Did I specify a sex right there? I might have, I'm not sure. Oh, it don't make you gay. I mean, it kind of makes bisexual. There's nothing wrong with that. You can do what you want, it's your life. Enjoy. I've only been high accidentally once. I've never been drugged either. Like I don't, the only, the only high I've ever experienced was um, when uh, when I had my knee surgery and they came in there and give me all the pre, pre, uh, pre-postal stuff. They sopped me up with this shit and then they put a bunch of shit in my knee. I'm gonna tell you what, whatever they gave me, man, made me high as a motherfucker. I was feeling good. The doctor told my mom, or the anesthesiologist told my mom, she's like, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Normally when we give someone this amount, they usually pass out. <laughs> I think it's because I have high alcohol tolerance. Double time, double time, push my shit in. <laughs> I get high with help from my friends. He's like, I gotta get back to the hook. I was already halfway healed. Did someone heal me? I think that Meg tried to heal me. I thought I was back on the hook since then. Most of the weed smokers I've ever known, they're all they, they're fucking lazy as hell. Not saying that you all are, it affects people differently, but all the ones I've ever experienced in life, they lazy as fuck. God damn it! Let me finish you! The clusterfuck out here! I'm a most morable chat. <laughs> I like it when I'm memorable, memorable, memory, memory. La 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 la. And my ass like a shit stain, like in the toilet bowl. TP for the bunghole. TP for the bunghole. The great bungholio, my friend. The great bungholio. Get auto aim, motherfucker. Get the gents done, boys. It's a five gents squirt run right now. I got this bitch on lockdown. 
She a hoe. No. She tricked me. She had to be running the iridescence. Like every time you're near a television, you get more stuff. Had to have been. I took Tramadol almost two years. What the hell is that? Stink eye. She has a pretty eyeball, doesn't she? Very strong painkiller. Oh, that's bad shit, man. We got you've been getting moored a lot today. That's literally the first time I've been moored. No, oh, no. Did I get devoured hope? Well, I think I got devoured hope at the very beginning of the stream. I think that's the second time I got moored today. Where the pizza? I didn't turn the oven on. I'm gonna eat later. I might go get some get some dick tea, some dick in my mouth though. Get some dick tea. <laughs> Lubricate my throat with a dick. T. Well, I know when they when they put me that put that shit in before my knee surgery, man, I was high as a motherfucker. Now, see, they didn't do that when I got my gallbladder taken out. I think they did it all when I uh, got. I, I was all awake until they put me on the on the table. And when you're on that surgery table, they're like, "Go ahead, count backwards to 10. I was like, 10, 9. And I woke up. I was in recovery. What are your top four meals ever? I mean, I like sushi. The problem is where I live, there's not really like really good restaurants. Like really good eating is usually in the cities. I would love to get some sushi. I might treat myself on some sushi maybe next month. Chad, we're going to be live every day in September. I'm still thinking about it. I was going to make that a 1,200 subscriber goal, but we might have reached it. <laughs> I was going to do it anyway. I think September is a good month to do it because it's if they do September again... What is this killer? Motherfucking gremlin mode! Gremlin mode, gremlin mode. He about to suck that cho for some gremlin mode. Oh, I'm keeping you, motherfucker. You're my bitch now. You are my little bitch now. My bitch. Mine. I found your shit, motherfucker. Don't worry, I got a friend on my back. Oh, shit. I wasn't, I wasn't ready for that. I found her totem, no. Gremlin mode, gremlin mode. I wonder if she sucks Cho for the gremlin mode. Have ever made sushi? No. I let the real I let the people that know what they're doing deal with the raw fish. 
Meg threw the pout without even being in chase. And she's not coming back to this generator. Like, where the fuck did she go? Like, literally, where did she go? Titties! Titties. Well, that's not the, that's not a good one. Oh, she's in the fucking locker. <laughs> Get some! Motherfucker, right back to the guy off the hook. Fuck the guy off the hook. Okay, we got we got it. Right. Gremlin mode, gremlin mode. Uh oh, we're in trouble. Man, I wish I had my boom. Team much are the worst. Uh, she can see you when you spam the gremlin. I'm okay with that. Bitch, you should let me heal you first so I can heal you much faster. I'm pretty sure we got MMR'd again, chat. MMR'd again. Y'all need to get back on them generators. Oh, what the fuck? Why is there not a pallet here? Or a more door. More door. Boy, she's a fucking swinger. You see that big old swing? Knock a doodle do, motherfucker. Damien Shadow is back 17 months. One more month for the Dirty Diaper Sub Badge Club. Fuck yeah. Yo, thanks, Damien. Welcome back. Sub Mr. Platino. All right, they should get in two gens done. You couldn't handle my gremlin mode. He should have let me heal him because we would have healed him, but I would have still been in trouble. But I'm okay with that. It didn't get the damn gen done either. <laughs> yeah, Leon panicked, didn't he? If that motherfucker had notified her where I was at, these scrubs and their skill checks. <laughs> What is that shit stain doing? Where's the other nerd? Are they in a fucking locker? What about the guy with legacy chat? What about this guy over here with the legacy? Can I, can I get a, can I get a little help out of here? Can I get a little with this? Uh, help me out. Come on, Minglinger. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, that goddamn Megan has been in the locker the entire run. You know what? I know what Vince means. Wins. No, Vince doesn't win. You lose. Vince loses. We're going to watch Megan. Mama 26. <clears throat> Got her Nintendo Switch on her birthday one month ago. Slippery meat. You just left scratch marks. She's going for saves and stuff. <laughs> right back in the locker. 
Are you okay? Buddha? Because I want a piece of that. Oh, yeah. I want you to have a piece of that. Get in your locker. Ming Linger's behind you, healer. Stop moving around. Thanks, Buddha, for the 42 long months hot. Damn. Well, she got Maury. Right in the locker. Right back in the fucking locker. Yeah, that's right. Sell that bitch out. <laughs> Sell it. She ain't doing nothing. You know, neither one of you fucks are doing nothing. Gremlin mode. Gremlin mode. Right back to the locker. Oh, shit. Get in the locker. Get the fucking locker. Oh! Yes, yeah, son of a bitch out! She's in the locker! We ought to count how many times she gets in the fucking locker. She's gonna go back in that locker. This is my teammates like every single round, chat. Because they're MMR. These are my MMR skill levels, apparently. Oh, she's a. I guarantee you, she's a consoler. Uh oh. She knows. She fucking knows. She does not know. Yeah. Sell her out, Minglinger. Even Minglinger knows. This way. This way. Come, I'll save you. She ain't healed up or nothing. Right back, yeah, right back to the locker. Oh shit! Little mama in trouble! Little mama in trouble! Where is she even going? Let's see her try to loop, chat. Let's see if she can loop. Nope. Choke slam. All right, does anybody want to guess console or non console? One for console, two for PC. Don't you dare four percent. Slippery butthole. Oh, sucks to be you. mama little mama let's go look fucking shocker i am fucking shocked
They just hanging out on a Sunday afternoon, all fat. They probably got some Cheetos and some orange fan of soda, you know, sucking down them. Got the Cheeto fingers, fat on the big ass couch, you know, just like fucking loving life right now. You know what I'm saying? In her double wide trailer, living the life, living the fucking life. Good for them. Fucking good for them. I want that life too. I could get some Cheetos right now. It'd be good. Some Jalapeno Cheetos. Oh, chat, guess what we get to do on Tuesday? We get to bust into the brand new supply of Jalapeno pickled eggs. Live on stream. Who's excited about that? Some Jalapeno pickle. That's some redneck shit right there. Jalapeno pickled egg. This time, I cut down on the vinegar, and I used apple cider vinegar and then purple Vidalia onion. It's, these are sophisticated jalapeno pickled eggs. I think next time I'm going to put like four fucking jalapenos in there. I'm going to put two in there. I need to get what they call pickling spice. Sell them. Bitch, I'll be eating one a day for 12 days. I have not watched Prey yet, but I've heard good things about it. I do not have Hulu. Can I watch Prey without spending money on Hulu chat? <laughs> do you think Hulu actually makes money making a movie like that? Like, what do you think that movie costs to make? Millions of dollars, I would say, right? And do you think they're profiting from having that movie? Give me a link. Oh, now you're trying to get Vincent Vega to break the law. Listen, I'd be a bitch in prison, okay? I don't need to get fucked by the BBC in prison. I'm good. I've had Hulu before, though, or Hulu before. <laughs> that's what they count on, Cot Jockey. That's exactly what the fuck that's designed to do. And you are probably only one of millions of people. What if you enjoy being someone's bitch in prison? Well, I mean... To each their own, right? The best Predator movie? It's not better than the first one, dude. The first one is the absolute... Crim de la crim. I mean, if the first Predator is like a classic movie now. <laughs> Billy's having problems over there. He meant to do that. Sub redneck. I might get fucked here. I like your big blue hammer. Hammer time, big boy. One more time. You won't beat me with your hammer. You won't fucking do it. Still doing laps. We are. Oh my god! How does he have a fast chainsaw? Is it me or is he revving his chainsaw a little too fast? That's a fast chainsaw. I thought they got rid of those add-ons. That motherfucker ain't no 4.4 meter. 
He's regular Billy speed. He ain't running that. Did he look like a 4.4? I wasn't ready for that chainsaw hit like that. The first predator movie. The first predator movie is the best. The rest of them have been dumb. They're awful compared to the first one. Jelly or syrup. The original predator is the good one. And apparently this prey one's supposed to be good too. I think the first one's great. But that's a film made in the 80s, man. Alexa, what year did Predator come out? The film Predator was released on June 12, 1987. Predator 2, that was terrible. I don't think I've seen any other ones actually. All right, somebody's got to do fucking generators. Alien versus Predator. I've seen bits and pieces. Those are always dumb. The Aliens movies are good, though. I've seen one, two, three, and I consider, like, what are those newer Alien ones? Like, Prometheus and the other one. Those are good, too. Sub bow to the brow. Is he got Tinker in his stinker? I wasn't even paying attention. Dude, I, I feel like this Billy is suspect as fuck. <laughs> Bitch, come get me. Save your little fucking sprint burst. I feel like this Billy is suspect as shit. I was kidding, Billy. Does he have the add on that goes through the fucking pallets? I'm fucking dead. Is he running the slope in, in the pallet add on? I don't know. This guy seems kind of weird. Later, baby. Oh, you hurt your little self. All right, fuck you then. Since you think you're better than me and all that. Not let me touch that vagina. Come on, baby. I'll wear that out, girl. Come on. Have a good time with Vinny Mac Daddy. We'll have a good time, trust me. No, I will. With tussling. <laughs> Poor Megan. Billy, dude, I might have to try that add-on. That add-on looks pretty good.
You know, the chains that go through the pallet, it makes the chainsaw go through the pallet. It's fantastic. Oh, you fucking shit stain. Just go play with the boon. Get your little vagina in the fucking boon and call it a day. I don't know if Billy had a hard time with this guy over here. I think I heard another boon. Blinka 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 blum 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 blinka 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 Oh, the best Terminator movie is Terminator 2, period. You could be mine. With your bitch slap rapping and your cocaine tongue, you get nothing done. And you could be mine. No, 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 no. I watch Hellraiser movies? No. I don't really watch horror movies at all. Is Assassins the one with him and Antonio Banderas with our snipers? Vincent Rose, everyone. Thank you. And yes. Ew. See a default. But fitting. I've only seen Expendables 1 and 2, maybe. I don't even know if I've seen the second one. I want to go watch The Fountain again. Because we got talking about The Fountain. But the problem with The Fountain is it's $2.99 on the, uh, Amazon Prime. It's like Netflix got The Fountain for free or something. I think it's time to leave, boys. Bop, 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 bop. Is this the first time I've, uh, I've escaped today? <laughs> Desperado. I want to see what this Billy was running. Fury Dreadlow.ttv. Okay, so he's not a hacker. He runs into everything with that chainsaw. Here's another Megan doing Megan things. Once a time upon a Mexico. That's good too. I'm a big Quentin Tarantino fan. I liked everything he's done except um, the Hateful Eight. <clears throat> I thought the Hateful Eight was awful. It was slow. Like, you can delete the entire movie until all the shit goes down for like that 10 minute and that's it. Ben Dares is 61. Dude, Sylvester is like 70 something. Alexa. How old is Sylvester Stallone? Sylvester Stallone is 76 years old. Dude. Is that guy going to live forever? Isn't there rumors he's going to do another... Uh, isn't there rumors he's going to do another Rambo movie? <laughs> I, I got a hard on for Rambo. Stun the killer four times. Number one, stunner. All right, what's a good stun build, chat? I already know. Like, what's my favorite 
Quentin Tarantino film. It's probably Pulp Fiction. And then my next one will probably be Django Unchained. Man, I love it. Django Unchained is so good. Time flies, bugs. What's y'all's favorite Tarantino film? Kill Bill. You know what's a really good underrated t Quentin Tarantino? Jackie Brown. Jackie Brown's a phenomenal movie. That's that's up there too. Kill Bill one and two are also great. They're all great. I've only seen Reservoir Dogs maybe once or twice. I don't really remember that movie. You wanted to see the Billies. I know. I, as soon as I click get out of there, I forget. What was that guy's TTV name? Who was that streamer who just went against chat? Was it this one? Put the whole thing in your mouth. Wasn't it dread something, wasn't it? Dread low. Was it Dread Lucy? Furrow Dreadlow. That's it. Is this motherfucker lot? Fury Dreadlow. What do you know? He's not live. Dusk until dawn. That's good too. Isn't Desperado the uh, Quentin Tarantino Western film with um, Quentin or with uh, Antonio Banderas and Sema Hayek? I see her titties and she is the fun. she is fine as fuck. She's still fine. I have masturbated to that scene quite a few times in my life growing up. And Glare's Bass was good as too. It's not my favorite, but it's really good. I mean, Quentin makes all. Have you seen The Hateful Eight? Did you all enjoy The Hateful Eight? I just thought that I went to the movie theater about fall asleep. Man, that was boring as shit. Big nerd dot TTV. It's not the pee pee weepies, okay? No, what's pop fiction? They stayed in the cabin. Yeah, it was boring. It was an old western, and they all stayed inside this fucking inn until at the very end, like something like three people come in, they blow them all away, and there's a big fucking go down or whatever. I mean, Samuel L. Jackson was in it. Alexa, how old is Samuel L. Jackson? Samuel L. Jackson is 73 years old. And these fuckers are getting old. Yeah, I think so, Frost. Of course I know Pulp Fiction. It's what I basically named Vincent Vega after. Royale with cheese and a five dollar shake. One of my all time favorite. I love, I mean, I've seen Pulp Fiction a million times. I still couldn't tell you like the timeline of that movie. It's, it skips all over the place. Yeah, Hateful Eight was slow. He must have eruption. Right? Oh, I'm back on the generator. Fuck nuts. Cheater. Oh, I gotta stun the killer. There ain't a fucking thing on this side of the map, chat. I'm bringing a friend, but he don't care. Oh, I'll get all in the jizz, motherfucker. I don't care. I was born in the jizz. I was born in the motherfucking jizz. Take me to church. Give me the jizz. 
Lucky. What's up, Caldo? Big D, what up? It took me years to realize the waiter in the 50s theme restaurant was Steve Buscemi. In what movie? It's just because you like really jack muscular guys, Christicles, right? Jeff Bridges broke a really old guitar loaned from a museum on Hateful Eight by accident. <laughs> like broke it so he couldn't do it. Say what again, motherfucker. It's hotty duty time. You listen, ladies. Get your fingers out of your vagina right now, okay? And calm down. Get your fingers out the vagina and calm the fuck down. What? Where did he go? Must be that lightweight. Must be lightweight. <laughs> that lightweight, man, they, that's too strong. You gotta nerf that perk. Only in my world that works. My world, my world. Ding. Is a Q movie. What does a Q movie mean? I thought Django and Jane was awesome. They said the N word quite a bit, though. You have to get over that fact. But it's more of a, uh, you know, a time based uh, movie, you know? I like the guy who plays the dentist. Where did he go? <laughs> Where did he go? Yes, I'm in the locker, god damn it. Shit stain incorporated. This guy's not the smartest pin dick or uh cone head in the world, is he? Titties. Come on, Kate. Die Hard or John Wick? Man. I feel like that's generational. I mean, I would say Die Hard. John Wick, sorry, but it's just fucking over the top violent, man. <laughs> he knows that time. are good but the only problem I have with John Wick is like the over 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 the top violence when is John Wick 4 coming out isn't that this Christmas That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. John Wick versus Rambone. Who wins? Oh, Rambone wins every time.
Spoon Man. Come together if you can save me. Is this motherfucker chasing me or the Meg or the Kate? He's still on my dick. We might make it out. This is the wrong fucking door. We went to the wrong fucking door, chat. Seal them off, boys. Seal them off. Seal them off. No, not fair. Not fair. Take it for Team Vince. Take it for Team Vince, god damn it. Oh, he got to kill me. We almost got it. Uh, we looked it up last night. John Wick has 394 kills. But how many kills do you have in that, the third movie? The first movie and the second movie were nowhere near as crazy as the third one. I actually like the movies, though, but I don't want to support that shit. Alexa, what's the release date of John Wick 4? This might answer your question. The film John Wick, Chapter 4, will be released on Friday, March 24th, 2023. Oh, it is next year. Wick may have 77, but Rambo has 552 kills. Now, Rambo, you know my favorite? I, I like the, uh, not the newest Rambo movie, but the one before that where he went back to get them to get them people them, uh, them christian people out the jungle and he got on that that fucking um 50 cal like anti machine anti tank machine gun and just like hamburgerized the whole fucking army man like it was just hamburger spread everywhere and that dude I, I remember watching that in the movie theater i think i watched that two or three times in the movie theater cuz i'm just i like rambo man all of them Except, what is the best Rambo movie? What is your favorite Rambo movie? What's the best one? I already know which is the best one. <laughs> you know, my Rambo First Blood Part 2. The second Rambo movie, the best one, where he's in Nam. Oh, I love that one. That's a good one. And then I would say Rambo 4. I like the just the regular Rambo one. It was awesome. <laughs> John Wick has 299 eliminations. Yeah, I think the Wick movies are kind of like over the top. But, the, you know, everything's over the top now. Look at the amount of fucking murder and mayhem in that movie is ridiculous. Listen, they got to stop the John Wick franchise because Keanu can't keep up with that no more. He's getting old. Rewatch Kill Bill. That's that dude. The scene uh, with all the sword fighting in, in the uh, like the Chinese or Japanese house, whatever they were at. Dude, that girl with that ball and chain thing was fucking nuts, too. They're going to have a John Wick Netflix series. You know what I like in the... Uh, I like that actor who plays, like, the guy who leads that whole little... Society of people the 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 uh, the old guy. I forgot what his name is. He's a good actor He actually played in um He was in like a uh... Wait he was in Game of Thrones, right? Winston yeah, he was in Game of Thrones Ian McShane yeah, that guy's awesome Miguel! How did he catch up to me? 
He's a slow killer. Oh, now he's chubbing me. Oh, shit. He's probably tough to fucking hair, asshole, too. Yes, Claudette, come to my rescue. What is this outfit? Is that outfit new? Yeah, he was in Game of Thrones. He was where the, um, what the hell is that guy's name? The mount, yeah, he was. Uh, he was with the. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. The Deadwood, yeah, he's been in a lot of stuff. Is any when does the uh, when does that HBO House of Dragons premiere? Is that November? I'm curious how good that's going to be. He's like, I saw scratch marks. Tits and ass. Oh, August 21. Do you think that's going to come out the gate swinging? You've been down this long. You've only halfway healed. Ray Stevenson. What is he acting? That doesn't sound familiar. Did you watch the new trailer? Oh, what House of the Dra House of the Dragons? No. Is it good? I might. I might. Do you got Andor's coming in for Disney? You got that. You got fucking uh, Lord of the Rings. Like it's it's like the triple hitting month of September August right there. I'm just praying to God that Lord of the Rings doesn't shit the freaking bed with it. Or Amazon. Because Amazon, in my opinion, could have could have really hit a home run with uh, the Wheel of Time. And it was awful. Like, the wheel, like, now that I look back and I spent time watching the Wheel of Time, it was terrible. It's like all the people that they had. There, there's only a couple actors that played the roles really well. And the rest of them were terrible. I'm not watching any fucking Marvel shit. Nothing. That Marvel can all suck my dick. What's up, Tracy? Star Wars? I'm sucking their dick. The Wheel of Time was awful. It was terrible. Are they going to do a second season? I feel like they ruined it. What is this fucking Nancy doing? Okay, he cometh. Big daddy cometh. <laughs> Get fucked! Get fucked! I kind of fucked Megan there, didn't I? Star Wars is doing exactly what MCU is doing. I've never watched any of the more. I'm not big into superhero shit. Like, I, I'm not a big superhero kind of fan. Like, I don't watch Avengers and none of that shit. So I don't really watch anything in the, in, the, in the Marvel. I'm more of a DC guy. I do like Thor. Like, the original Thor, maybe Thor 2. They were cool. I 
I need to stun this pervert. Go get her, tiger. Show him you're a tiger. Show him what you can do. She's going to play Harley Quinn. I want to see that Gucci movie with Lady Gaga. I haven't seen that yet. Uh, Marvel's gone long. Yeah, I feel like they've really milked it. I, and they're definitely milking the Star Wars franchise. But I feel like so far what they've done with Star Wars has been really good. Like I, all the Star Wars stuff they've done, like the, the book of Bob, Boba Fett, Mandalorian. What's the other one, chat? Uh, Obi-Wan. Andor's coming out. There's something else coming out, too. I, I feel like they've done really, really well on those, though. But I've not watched the uh, Marvel stuff. They're going to remake uh, Roadhouse. We still live chat. Oh, that was laggy. Jake Gyllenhaal and Conor McGregor. Are they really redoing it? Oh, fuck that. Yeah, they're kind of they're kind of going to be pumping out a lot of the uh they're definitely you, you could see a you could see a point where they're going to overdo the Star Wars shit. And Star Wars, man, I don't know, it's my special little thing. But the good thing is they're not coming out with movies. Like there's no plans on Star Wars movies, like uh trilogies, I should say. I need to stun this motherfucker. Come over here, big boy. Big boy! Oh, Disney's all about pushing them profits, man. They want that money. They don't give a fuck about nothing but the money. It's all about money with Disney. Yep! <laughs> Chub me, big boy. Oh, yeah, make your dick hard. Get your dick hard. She's dead. 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 I got windows in a dream right now. Uh-oh. I stunned him twice. Hey, what do you know, chat? It's the first time I've been on the hook. Oh, people will line up to get in a Star Wars movie. You're crazy? That would make your fucking career. I don't have any input. I was just listening. I'm going to die so she can... Uh, Dude, Face Off was a cool ass movie. I like that. You know, what I like in Face Off. I like. Uh, I I love that girl who played Nicolas Cage's wife. Man, she was sexy as fuck. I don't even know what her name was, but man, she made my pee pee well turn all shades of purple and stuff. One more stun. Number one stunner. Hey, chat. Who's ready for a giveaway? Are you guys excited about giving away the final copy of Hooked on You? Tracy, oh, have you played? I know you don't play Steam. 
Are you interested in playing Hooked on You? <laughs> They're going to remake everything because it's a cash grab. When was the last time you had a Freddy movie? Hello, nobody. I started that yesterday. It's not what I expected. What's that face off? I could eat a peach for hours. <laughs> that was when like Nicolas Cage and John Travolta were like, well, you know, John Travolta had a big comeback. He was like, you know, Mr. Saturday Night Fever, blah, blah, blah. And then like after Pulp Fiction, he like disappeared. And then Pulp Fiction came around. He blew up again. And um, then he then he went on to do a lot of big films. Like they, they, and then he did um, that face off, which was cool. What was the name of that movie with Angelina Jolie and Nicolas Cage? And he had that Mustang Sally or some shit. Gone in 60 seconds. That's it. Wasn't there a second one? <laughs> Going 30 seconds. Oh, that was Alcatraz. That, you know, Nicolas Cage had a big fucking decade. Didn't he just like, when was the last time he even had a movie that was decent? Same thing with Mel Gibson. That motherfucker, he got he got canceled for saying some some fucking bullshit when he was drunk or something. He's been gone ever since. What was the name of that car in sixty seconds? Her name was Mandy. Yeah, I heard he makes some weird shit. Eleanor, that's it. Yeah, Eleanor. There were a lot of good movies back then, man. Most people in Hollywood are weird. They are. Will you shut up about pig? It was a Shelby Cobra, yeah. God damn another pyramid dick. It's the same motherfucker. Yeah, it's the same goddamn one. It's the same one we had earlier. Did he burn a Mori for me this time? <laughs> Little bitch. Supure Terrifaha. Oh, 09. Let me butcher your name a little more. You remember me? Yeah, you remember me! If you don't. There's a fucking reminder, piece of shit. You fucking piece of shit. He's a smart one. Swing and a miss, big boy. Still no gens getting done. Mm -mm -mm. My son watched a cage movie called Willie's Wonderful. He never talks in the movie. What? Really? It's cringe as fuck. <laughs> you 
We got him stunned one time. One time. Did he break all the doors already? He did. I like this killer. He's like me. Oh, he didn't break all of them. He just broke a few. Somebody's bleeding. 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 If he's smart, he'll just let this gen get done. I haven't watched any movies lately because I don't have all the Netflix. Netflix makes some really good movies too, but I haven't seen any. Like, I kind of miss Netflix. I don't have Disney, Netflix, HBO. I got nothing right now but Prime. I've been watching this series on YouTube about that Jake and Jake and Nicole all living off the grid. Now I want to live off the grid. But they do some back-breaking ass work. Like some back-breaking. My back wouldn't be able to take it. I'm too old, too many injuries. Do you remember me? I remember you. I remember you through all the sleepless nights, through all the endless days. I want to hear you say, I remember you. We had a dog singing with us here in a minute. Is this the fuck hut? We're clear. Loose. You are not fucking popping that off. Put that back in your pants, big boy. Big boy, put that back in your pants, big boy. Big boy, misfire. Misfire. Missed out fire, misfire. You ain't shooting your load over nobody. Just kidding. Ha ha ha. Motherfucker. Cheeky little piece of shit. Why aren't the generators popping off? Like your mom. Popping off like your mom, bro. Your mama. Slow vault. Best vault. He'd almost got the gen done. Get that gen done, motherfuckers. That's right. Get that gen done. Get it. Get it. Get it. I'm gonna move away. Go get her done. Get her done. You can do it. Put your ass into it. Oh, you gotta fucking commit. Blind that motherfucker. Wake up. Are we touching it? Uh, oh, I'm about to pop this nerd in his face a second time. A second time. A second time. Oh, I just kidding. And another one. Sucker. <laughs> Suck a big fat dick. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Titties. Titties. That's two times. Who's keeping count? Don't make me break the world record. I got rid of Netflix when they raised the price again last time. So did I. It's like $15 a month while I was paying, man. It's ridiculous. <laughs> He's had enough of me. Mm -mm. Voice of an angel, you know it. 
Cage did that massive talent movie with the Mandalorian guy. Who? Uh, the Pascal guy? Dude, that guy is so famous for the Mandalorian where you barely ever see his face. You know, he's not really acting in that movie. Mingling her in a dream. Mm. Who's ready for a giveaway, chat? Who's ready to get their peckers hard? Who's ready to get their little dick sweat? Who's ready to get their fucking dick sweat? Oh no! Got him! <laughs> Three times, motherfucker! Three times, you fucking piece of fucking shit, you! Not once! Not twice! Three times, you piece of shit! Three fucking times! Three times! Just kidding! Swing and a miss, big boy! Never mind! And we can still live, chat. We can still live. How can I live if living is without you? Oh, yeah! You, you fuck, yeah, you don't like me. Well, guess what? I don't like you either! I don't like you at all! I think you should refund the video game and think about playing and reevaluating your life situation. Moving out of your mom's house. Get a girlfriend. Normal shit. Isn't the door over here? Oh, it's fucking back there. He doesn't like me, chat. He doesn't like me. Oh my God, he's awful. He is like, he is just fuming right now. He's fuming, chat, he's fuming. He can kill me though. Does he realize he can kill me? We're working it. Uh-oh. Here we go. I just need to get touched on real quick. Real quick. He is a fucking swinger, isn't he? Yeah! <laughs> oh, he was so scared to, to, to pick me up. Oh, my little killer was so scared to pick me up. Oh, my little killer. Bam! He didn't like me. Look at that teamwork makes the dream work. Teamwork makes the dream work. He's going to explode. He is. Select challenge. What is this? Commune with six. Is this a killer or a survivor or both? Survivors are hooked or generators are completed. Oh, it's both. Good, because I'm tired of playing killer for the day. We had tried too hard. I tried so hard and got so far. 
All right, let's start this giveaway, and I'll give it away at the end of this round. If you want a free copy of Hooked on You, ladies and gentlemen, Dead by Daylight, uh, the new, uh, I don't know, dating simulator game for you fucking freaks out there because you're goddamn weirdos. Uh, it's all for you. Exclamation point, hook me, daddy. Get in on the giveaway. We'll give it away at the end of the stream. Why can I not get this? I want this motherfucker's name off of this. There. All right. In order to win, you must... Uh, what? Why'd it come back? In order to win, ladies and gentlemen, you must... Uh, Talk in chat 45 seconds after it is uh, drawn. After it is drawn. If the vagina eats you, we're going to re-roll. So do not sign up for the giveaway and go take a hot spicy diarrhea right now. You do not want to take a hot spicy diarrhea right now. I repeat, do not take a diarrhea right now. It'll run until we're going to pull. Games PC only. Steam only. Wake up. Where? Any bounties tonight? Look on you. Your voice makes my D go hard. I mean, I've been told that many a times. You're welcome. It's got a 90%. Like, that's how good the game is. Is it? It's just because Dead by Daylight people are going to suck Dead by Daylight dick, period. Has anyone played it and not liked it? It just seems really weird to me. Here we go. Tech boob. Gifting to gift subs. Do it again. Oh, yeah. Tech boob. Gifting to fucking subs. Oh, yeah. One more time. Tech boob, get the two gift subs, two lucky cock people, get the cock emotes. I was over here, hi, huh? you lost me. You lowest me, lowest me. Listen, stop trying to spend your fucking hook on me winning and no one's, I haven't even drawn the name yet. It's all about that alert. Hook me, daddy. Hook me, father. Father, yes, son. I want to kill you. There's a gnat on my microphone. Are we winning? I'm always winning. I'm a winner. Your drivers didn't win. What are you watching, NASCAR? I fucking hate NASCAR. That shit went downhill, brother. Like, NASCAR is awful compared to what it used to be. Don't bring him over here, you dirty little slut.
I'm not rubbing your back. I get Jen done. NASCAR dad when they added the playoffs. Absolutely. There's a lot that changed. Now there's like three different races within the race, right? It's weird. Well, she didn't do shit the whole time. Oh, he's on the hook. I was blind and couldn't see the guy. I didn't realize someone was on the hook that goddamn long. I'll take a McGoogle and cheese, please. Uh oh. Miss me, nerd. McGoogle and cheese. Super size fries. Oh, he coming. <laughs> yeah, this guy got wise. Sitting on the top of the bay. Yeah, there, there's a bunch of windows in these houses that, that makes the loops insane. Like, kind of broken. <laughs> and this is the redesigned version. Should I head on? I don't even run this build. I just need to do that for the stuns. What am I doing now for the uh, thing? That hurt my eye. Shit in my eye. I'm ready for a fucking. I'm gonna eat the whole goddamn pizza. I've not eaten anything today, chat. I've taken one poop and two glasses of tea. That's it. Would you like to know more about my life? Oh, yeah, the glyphs. I went, well, I, I still eat the tofu, but I still eat other stuff, too. You want my social security number? What do you want? My, you want my you want my debt? The money that I don't have, you can have all of that. I'm not a Twitch millionaire, chat. We want to know everything about you, Vince. Really? That way I'll fall asleep. I've had a very uneventful life, honestly. I have some stories to tell, but, you know, nothing good or bad. More Brazilian Twitch millionaire. Vince knows, yes, that guy's rich. He does uncapped subathons. He's good. <laughs> no brand, no. No brand, no. I'm about to pop this nerd in his face if he comes up here, though. Yeah, baby! Da, 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 da. Da, 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 I'm exhausted. Da, 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 da. Where did the scratch marks go? Oh, which way did he go? Oh, where did he go? I'm in the locker, dumbass. Megatron32 months. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. Yo. Oh, wait, where did you go? Oh, where did you go? Uh oh. No more joking around. 
No one escapes explosive diarrhea. Yeah. No one escapes explosive. Okay. No more joking, chat. No more jokes. Okay. No more jokes. Oh fuck! He's chasing Nancy now. You think he's running barbecue? No way, right? Hurry up! Hurry up! I want to live! He's got to two more nerds! What day? Listen, chat, the only one that matters lives, okay? The only one that matters is the one living right now. There's the green thing. You can see the aura no ed now. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to run back in there. I'm going to let all the consolers die. I don't really care. Console, they, consolers don't have feelings. They're fine. She had unbreakable, didn't she? Last game, the team came through strong for Vince. Yeah, but that was a different circumstance, Tech. That's a completely different circumstance. All right, chat, we're going to do a giveaway right now for uh, Hooked on You, Dead by Daylight, Date and Simulator. If you guys want to go in and win, uh, exclamation point, hook me, daddy. Where the fuck's Kalani? She's not in here. Good. I don't want her to win that shit anyway. She touches herself to weird David online anyway. Anya, did you leave? You need to put your name back in. Anya, did you go fucking smoke? That's because Vince is a hack himself. I am not, Tracy. I'm offended. Did Anya go smoke? Yeah, I removed you. Didn't you watch? Type it correctly. Hurry up, everyone. Get in. You got to claim your prize for the vagina eats you. So type in chat if you win. Let's go. Listen, Hugo, you're not on my, you're not, I'm not on Hugo time. I'm on Vega, Vega time. Diarrhea. Diarrhea, motherfucking diarrhea. You are the winner. Forty-five seconds. How no, I ain't played this game yet. I don't know. I'm going to play it. Well, that motherfucker was ready. You win the last copy, my friends. Welcome to my brand new YouTube channel, my friend. You you win our very first inaugural giveaway. I hope you enjoy that game. Masturbate fiercely to it, please. Fear that if you're not, if if your dick is not bleeding by the time you you know come to fruition, then it's not, it doesn't count. All right, boys, I'm done. That's it for me tonight. I'm tired. I am fucking hungry. Uh, that being said, I might be on my After Adults channel later tonight playing some um, Dead by Daylight. Oh, Connie lost power. <laughs> that means sex time, chat. Uh, thank you for the subs, resubs, getting the subs, bits, donos, hosting, lurking, raiding the channel. Hope you guys had a good time. I did. My voice is tired. I'm going to take the day off tomorrow. Relax. I'll do some fierce masturbating too on my brand new YouTube channel. And have a good one. Thanks, everybody, for watching. May your turrets come out to you. Peace out. Roll the credits. I might play some Isaac later or maybe some Dinkum. I don't know. I got to eat. I'm hungry. Oh, diarrhea. 
I don't own that game. 